Havoc, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Are you feeling better today? But how are you gonna play it if you're blind? My dog did see I need new glasses. Hi, Tooth, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, guys. Man, y'all are up early. It's 12 p.m. for you? Oh yeah, I forget. I'm West Coast PST, so like, I'm just living in the past. That's why, like, it's not too bad if I stream in the morning or, like, midday my time, because it's usually afternoon for most of the East Coast people. I just had my breakfast. I had pasta. And then I biked this morning. You know, I'm on top of everything today. Also, did you guys see? You can now post videos on your Twitch stories. Wait, can only affiliates make Twitch stories or can any user, any, okay, can somebody test it, please? Can, can you guys make a Twitch story? <laughs> My delay for stream is so long, I'm gonna lurk. Okay, that's fine. If you're watching on mobile, uh, audio only mode is good. And then, if you're at home, watching it on the TV, the delay on TV ain't too bad. It's only like 10 seconds. Ad should wait did I even run the ad oh my god I forgot <laughs> oopsie <laughs> oh awkward I was gonna say ad should be done by now right but then I was like oops I didn't run the ad smile <laughs> alter and face came on at six minutes of time then since I messed up I didn't find the button to make the story for my one follower. Damn. You know, Twitch is really repressing all the non-affiliates. I'll have to look at their help article again. Because, like, I guess it kind of makes sense for them to only allow affiliates to make stories, but it takes a long time to get affiliates sometimes, you know? It took me six months. It takes some people, like, years sometimes. Oh, okay. Now, you guys can't, like, snitch. But back when I first started streaming, like, there were some other, like, smaller streamers that I watched that, like, I still follow, but they don't stream anymore. Or they just don't stream, like, often enough. And literally, everybody who I used to watch doesn't stream anymore. Um, and they haven't- they're at, like, the same follower account. Which is whatever, like, I understand that, like, it's hard to grow naturally on Twitch, but, like, Wait, should I make a Twitch, like, video story? Should I do it? I'll do it now. But, like, I think it just goes to show you need to, like, make edits. You need to make clips. Okay. I'm gonna make a video. It looks like we don't- Okay. They're asking to record me? Uh... Okay, what should I say? <laughs> Guys, this is my first- <laughs> Wait, okay. Guys, this is my first Twitch video story. I'm live right now. Wait, how do I- I can't flip the camera off way through Twitch to fix that. This is a weird angle. Anyway, come watch live. We're playing a new game. Get in here now. <laughs> okay. 
Amateur streamer? Dude, I'm, I'm a 3B Randy. Of course I'm an amateur. Affiliate is not the same as partner. Affiliates can get similar rev splits as partners now because it's based on their sub count versus, like, clout. But in order to become a partner, uh, you need a badge and you need to show that you have ample followers, good behavior, and then... That should be done. And then you have to average 75 viewers. So it can take a long time to reach partner. It's really easy to get affiliate because affiliate is just like the baseline monetization. But partner is really difficult. I Partner is not my goal because what's the point? You just get a little badge. And since Twitch added the new DJ badge, the DJ badge literally looks exactly like the partner badge at first glance. Whoever made that decision is just fucking stupid. I'm sorry. From like a from a graphic standpoint, it's so stupid. Welcome in everybody. We had Tooth and Vicantant in the Sardin Soon screen. Welcome in guys. Welcome in. So today the plan is simple. We're starting a new game. Also, I'm live early. It's 9.07 a.m. on Tuesday, August 13th. And you know why I'm live early? If you if you saw my Twitter or you follow my IG, uh, I got a call last night. And they were like, hey, Peason, I know we schedule your next dental cleaning for November, but actually somebody canceled, like, today. Do you want to come in tomorrow? And I was like, oh my god, yes! Because I told y'all I got my top teeth cleaned, so now my bottom teeth are icky. So I was like, shit. Fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. So, my appointment is in the evening, so that means I need to end stream by like 2 or 2.30. That way I can get there in time. Yeah, more drill goes for my mouth, because they were like, you can either do like 7 a.m. or evening. And I was like, if I do 7 a.m., I'm not going to be able to stream at all, because the, the numbing stuff will take me out for a few hours. Like, I'm, I'm not like put under aesthetic, it's just like my mouth will get numb. So I was like, fuck it, I'll do it at night time. So yeah, that's the plan for today. So I'll be able to stream till like 2 or 3. No, 2 or 2.30. Because it takes like an hour to get there. But yeah, that's why I'm live early. Because allegedly this game is like 20 to 24 hours. So it'll be, and there's four like chapters. There's four acts. So it'll be like hopefully four or five streams. We can beat it this week. Oh, also big update big update. So you know how I told Chet that we might have to fly out to Hawaii for my grandma's funeral? You know when it is? October. We talked to her mom last night and she was like, yeah, all the venues that your grandma wanted were like fully booked out. So I'm giggling because I was just thinking, about like, why is everybody dying? Like, what's going on? But all, all the venues that she wanted are literally fully booked out until October. Which is crazy. You know, I didn't think funeral homes were popping off. But yeah. So we don't have to worry about, like, buying last minute tickets. They're still, like, determining the actual date, but it's for sure in October. So, um... It actually kind of works out better that way. Because now my sister can, like, request proper time off and not have to take her emergency family leave. We can, like, actually, um, we can actually, like, save up money for those tickets. Because buying tickets, like, for the month of August, like, right now, would be, like, $600. Versus if we buy tickets in October or fall time, it'll be, like, three $400. Funerals are usually hosted within a month after somebody's passing in the States. Because, you know, we want to get over death quickly. It's very uncommon for funerals to be scheduled out that far in advance. But it's because, like, you know, people want to move on. That's the only downside. Like, we'll have to, like, keep thinking about it till then. Yeah, some people, like, schedule services the next day here as well. But typically they're, like, a week or two after. Um, So it, it is very odd that the earliest slot they had is October. But you know, it's okay. It actually works out better for my sister and I, because like I said, she'll be able to get proper time off from work. We'll be able to like actually save up for these tickets. So guys, 
Another subathon in September. No, I'm kidding. Partially? <laughs> I'm doing the cycle subathon. I was already planning on doing it anyway. But the only thing is they were thinking late October. So that means for Halloween streams, we might have to do them in early October because they want us to stay for a week. I guess it does make sense for having people schedule traveling. It's wild because like literally all my grandma's friends and family live in Hawaii. We're, we're the only ones who don't live in state. So anyway, yeah, so that's a little update. So now we don't talk about it. I'm still going to keep farming subs though. I still need them. <laughs> I still need them guys. <laughs> you know, those diggits aren't going to buy themselves. Yeah, but honestly, that's, like, a, a huge stress relief. Because, like, it's less money that we'll have to spend. Proper time off, we can actually plan. But, yeah. So, that's- I think that's all. Oh, then, also, yesterday, I edited yesterday's stream. So, that'll be this week's YouTube video. Also, I just woke up. Because my sister, she's on swing shift. So... And it's at night, and she doesn't want to take the bus by herself, which is valid. It's scary sometimes. So, I'm obviously not going to say the time. But, like, it takes an hour to get there and an hour for me to get back home because the buses don't run as often at nighttime. So, I didn't get home till, like, late, late last night. And at the end, I was like, do you think you can handle going on the bus by yourself? And she was like... No, can you go with me? That's not her voice, but I think it's funny. So, for a while, I'm gonna be fucking tired. Now, usually, there's a lot of chill people on the bus. It's usually commuters. There are some people who are, how does one say, high and lit. But usually, they don't bother people, so I don't care. And all the drivers in my area are trained. And most transit centers have like security guards, so. So you'll be the weird one? No, I have my mask on, my headphones. You know, nobody fucks with me. <clears throat> okay. I think that's all. That's all I really did. We streamed yesterday, I edited. And now we're here. Also, I think the game is a good volume compared to me. Um, literally, the game is really, really, really soft. In my OBS, it's capturing the game at level zero decibel. <laughs> so, <laughs> if it gets really loud later, I'll try and fix it, but we'll see. Are you guys ready? I think I've done enough catching up. Okay, so, today, YouTube intro time. New overlay! Oh my god. Oh wait, I forgot. Guys, today's stream is presented to you by PeaceAndArtOnMyShopify.com. Oh my god, a new artwork available. We have the Lino prints here. Wow, so cute. You can buy the whole set, or if you buy the singles, you have a 10% chance of getting a holo. Ain't no way. I already, I actually got a review. I want to read it on stream. I forgot to show. Let's see. It should be here. Yeah, right here! A review from Kim! For the Tulip Floral Stained Glass print. I forgot to read this on stream the other day. Totally obsessed with my Tulip Floral Stained Glass. I think it's so funny, she put it in the quotes. It's absolutely gorgeous and adds a pop of color and class to any room. The detail is insane and the way the tulips are captured is so fresh and modern. Slay! Thank you, Kim, for the review! Yeah, so guys, if you if you buy something, please fill out the reviews. We need to we need to inflate our stocks. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, Kim. Okay, I think that is all. Oh, also, since we are gonna be flying in October, that means I'll have more money to spend on the actual art shop, so I can hopefully buy new supplies. At the end of the at the end of August versus September, so that's very exciting. Okay, are we ready now? Guys, say hi YouTube. Also, just to explain this game, 
looks like this when I'm playing on the Switch. It kind of had a similar overlay to Amori. But yeah, so when we're actually playing the game, it'll be cropped like this, so we can see the full, the full game. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Okay. Today, I'm gonna be just- fuck. <laughs> okay, okay. Today, I'm gonna be starting a blind playthrough of the game in Stars and Time. It's a time-looping pixel 2D RPG. It's been on my wish list for a while, and you know what? I finally decided to start playing it today. From what I've seen in reviews and also plot lines, it's very similar to the um, it's very similar to the game Amori, which we played last year. So honestly, I'm very excited. Also, before we get into this, this game does have ample trigger warnings. The main themes is mild violence and mental illness. And if any of those things are concerning to you, there is a full link of the content warnings below in the description. Okay, there we go. So, just to read off the main trick warnings, it's also pinned at the top of chat. I'm just gonna verbally read them off, so if any of these topics make you uncomfortable, if you don't want to watch these streams, that's okay. That's totally okay. It's not a platformer. Okay, let's see. So, I'm just gonna verbally read off all the trigger warnings that are in the game from the link in, in the pin chat. Okay, so, main trigger warnings. Trauma, mental illness, death, violence, self-harm and suicide, unreality, and children in peril or dying. Because I think these are like kids in this universe. So those are just the main trigger warnings. If you want more in-depth explanations, it's in the link in the pin chat. So... Theme-wise, very similar to Amori. I don't think it's- I- okay, I hope it won't be as graphic as Amori was. Not that- I don't get scared by this shit, and I think in terms of theme, it's good to talk about these type of things. But as I said, if those things bother you, please don't watch this. Watch like a more fun video like Mario Kart or something. Anyway. Before we get started, if you want to watch me play games live, you can follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited. Okay, let's see if there's any rumble options. You know, the streaming site? <laughs> Switches to Queso? No! Queso plays scary games all the time. And it's really funny whenever, like, the game, like, does have, like, more mature themes. He's like, oh, we're banned on TikTok. <laughs> it's so funny. You know what Queso, I'll say, is like one of the more wholesome streamers. He never swears. It's crazy. Okay. Language, English, Japanese, always run, always keep that on. Command, remember. What is that? Maybe I might turn that on later. Message speech 10. Master volume. Okay, so there is no vibrate. Good. Let's go ahead. Oh wait, I forgot. This is my other account. And we're in. Okay. Just the trigger warnings again. In Stars and Time, it occasionally explores topics that some players might- Oh. <laughs> okay. I can't read that fast. They're being mean. Okay, now we're back in. I watch a DTA streamer that is always forbidden on TikTok just because of his TTS. That's why, like, I didn't enable TTS for bits or donations until, like, a year after I started streaming because I was so scared. I was genuinely so scared. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Hopefully you guys don't go crazy. Unless... Okay. Let's begin. I do wonder if this game is fully gonna be in black and white. If so, I kind of like that aesthetic. 
It's usually what I draw in. Oop. Mirabelle. Okay, I am gonna be doing full voice acting. I kind of want to give Mirabelle a more higher pitch. Frin! Sifrin! Sifrin? Good morning! Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you can sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to get ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Okay, for narrator, I'll just do my normal voice. You're too sleepy to talk. Sleep's sweet embrace calls for you. You close your eyes again. Um, wake up. <laughs> You're still half asleep, aren't you? You make a grumbling sound. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard your jaw cracks. You're having such a nice rest, too. Ugh. You can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. Oh, I wanted I wanted to sleep some more. Okay, the running is a bit fast. Um I just pressed pause and this is what came up. Okay, I turned run off just to see. Oh, that's a little bit better. I like walking through games. I'm not a speed runner. I'm a slow runner. We're not gonna touch him. I love nature and I would never touch a wild bird because that's how you get mice. I mean lice. <laughs> but sometimes birds do catch mice. You know what? If I, like, harnessed my stutter and swapping words problem, I could be a great rapper. What do you guys think? You know, I always be looking for secrets. Sifrin, you're up. You sure are. Okay, so the parentheses is internal dialogue, and then... This is just regular dialogue. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. <laughs> so, how was your nap? On a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, let's see. A solid 9. Is it not a 10 because... The finish could use some work? We'll do better next time. Next time I promise I'll let you sleep in. So we can get the elusive 10 out of 10 score. Oh. Wait. I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. For lunch! <laughs> this will be the night before we go fight the king, so I feel like we can make it special somehow. Oh my god, is she flirty? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So, I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room? Maybe tell stories? It would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh my god. I was joking. <laughs> How is it different from what we usually do? Well, okay. Oh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry. I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was... It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Maybe we should forget about it. Oh no. 
Your lack of enthusiasm made Mirabelle upset. Come on, fix it. No, I, I think it's fun. Well, let's do it. Are you sure? All right, then. Um... So, if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I... I don't think I could convince everyone. Well, you kind of have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay. Let me think. Madam... Odile? Odile? Odile. I'll do Od Odile. Madam Odile should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabeau is to the favorite tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the east of the town, right past the broken bridge. So you can tell everyone to meet up there later. Okay, I literally forgot everything she said. That was a lot of names and places. Will you remember? Uh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Probably not, to be honest. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location. Oh, thank you. She's so nice. Just in case. You forget. Yeah, smart. You got the reminder note. You put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You can check your souvenirs by getting into your pockets. To access your pockets, open the menu by pressing X. The menu contains your pockets, equipment, and many other things. You can interact with most items in your pocket by pressing A. Okay, see you at the clock to- Tater. <laughs> okay, see you at the clock tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the Change God statue too. For good luck. You have goodbye. Oh, also don't. Oh, also, also. There's a lot of people to talk to. There's a lot of people to talk to and drawers to snoop inside around here. You can interact with people and objects by pressing it when standing in front of them. Okay, I can't fit between the trees. Fishing one. <laughs> I am fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to try to fish for a little bit? No, uh, why not? Sure, man. <laughs> Fishing, huh? You don't really know how to do this. You take the fishing pole they're offering you. You choose a lure the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole, throw it in the water, and sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. So, how are you guys doing, huh? You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, because the lore is the same color. How are they going to see it? I assume like most animals, they can't see the full color value. Some flowers. They smell like flowers. Pansies stink. They do not smell good. And I mean the flower, of course, not the people. Oh. I love how in RPGs you just walk into any random building and people do not care. <laughs> That's a barrel. A small desk with some flowers on it. Cool jeweler. Oh. Don't look in that drawer, stranger. It's my awful necklaces I made and need to throw away drawer. Well, I want to look. Just because you think it's bad doesn't mean other people think it's bad. A kitchen station. Lots of spicy stuff there. The door must lead to the rest of the house, but you can't go there. You've been told going farther than the first room in other people's homes is very rude. The guardian customs are so weird. You're not sure what it is, but it has something to do with the changed belief. Mirabelle has a similar brooch design. Cool jeweler. Hello! Welcome to my home, complete stranger! Oh, you're... You're one of the people traveling with that Mirabelle, aren't you? One of the saviors. Yes, I like going into strangers' homes. Heh, <laughs> don't we all? Since you're here, can you help me? I'm trying to figure out which necklace to give my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife. She stops what she's crafting and shows you two necklaces. One with round beads, the other with teardrop-shaped ones. Next to her, wife is not moving an inch. 
the teardrop. It's more original. I like the teardrop one better. Hmm. You're right. I think she'd be happy about this one. She gently attaches the necklace around her wife's neck and looks at her for a while. Hey, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like... I'd like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. Oh. I think there's beef there. Yeah. Ain't no way. Thank you for the resub, Alex. Tier 1 for 8 months? Holy moly. Thank you. Can we get some Alexes in chat? Thank you, Alex. So close to the 9-month sunflower badge, huh? Also, there's a lot of yip yapping in this game. It's just for me. Whew, okay. The woman sits here, frozen in time. Oh. That's awkward. A book on crafting jewelry. Now, as you guys know, I love exploring every single little corner in RPGs. This is going to be an infinite hour playthrough. Smug one. <laughs> oh, hey, Traveler. You're not from Burgard, aren't you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Pateria myself. I came to Burgard to further my studies a few months ago. Pateria, huh? How are you liking Burgard? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people. Especially their house of change. They let everyone in and aren't shy about sharing their knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a county... country, dang it. <laughs> it's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I can move here, to be honest. Well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I might actually be forced to move here. Permanently. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. Uh, not that I think you will win tomorrow, of course. <laughs> I have faith you will win, of course. Vargard is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here, but they're more likely to ask if you'd like to stay at their home for a bit than anything else. Hmm. So the king freezes people in time. Statues, big and small, all with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, others a bright smile. A few are animated by craft, and one jumps around and bumps gently into your foot. The Change God, deity worshipped by all of the country of Vargard, stands before you. Uh-oh. You have trouble believing you're finally here, almost at the end of your journey. It was only a few months ago that you met Mirabeau. She must... So much has happened since then. Flashback! Uh -oh. It was almost a year ago now that the king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vargard, freezing in time everything in its path. With Dormont's house a change in his control, he patiently waits, for he knows his curse can only be reversed if he is defeated. His victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabel. Your friend Mirabelle is the only survivor of the House of Dormont, after the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates. Everyone says she was blessed by the Change God themselves with the power to fight back the king's curse, making her the only one able to save Vargard. Or v Vagard. I keep on saying Vargard. When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabeau. Isabeau? I think it's Beau. When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabeau and Iodile, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. You helped them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked for your help. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. A few weeks later, you met Bonnie, completing your little team. You saw a lot of Vagardian citizens during your travels, some frozen, some not, and did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse. But still, you all kept going. 
Mirabel get going to honor the change god's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Vaugard. Also, I forgot to check the audio. I guess he would sink. I haven't done console gaming in so long. It's good. I think it was fine earlier, but it's fine. Yeah, that was a magic trip. Trip. <laughs> You know what is their greatest trick? I click end stream and then I never come back. I disappear forever. You know who should not disappear though? New followers. Because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to epic chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Okay, back in. I'm locked in. Isabel came with her after Vaugard's defenders themselves refused to help. Eldon came to satisfy a curiosity about Vaugard, and because, she said, leaving the fate of a country to a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. Bonnie came to save their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. We have no purpose. We want to drive passion. What else are you supposed to do except travel with them? Once, Mirabel asked you if you were okay, following them on a journey to save the country. She felt guilty. Felt like she was forcing everyone to follow her on her hopeless quest. You wanted to put her at ease, so you said easily and truthfully that traveling with everyone was the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. You cringed just thinking about it, truth be told. Maybe not the most considerate thing you could have said to someone with her problems at that moment. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. Uh-oh. We'll die. Okay. You should believe something very strongly at the change, God. That's how these work, right? Mirabelle and Isabel taught you before. You can't just ask these things before the change belief considers this lazy. It's the change god. Only pure belief and confidence in yourself will do, with the change god only providing a little nudge. If anyone is lazy here, it must be the change god, you think. Oh well. You believe strongly, or whatever. Okay, so we just said we have no passion, no drive. We obviously don't have a lot of self-confidence. We can't lie. You believe strongly, or whatever, that your hits will super hurt. That attacks against you will be super weak, or that you'll be super fast. Oh wait, I'm picking my perk. Ooh. So do I want to be fast in battle, have more defense, or more attack? I want to hit hard, baby! Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, no one will hurt you or your friends. You repeat under your breath, super powerful, super powerful, super powerful. <laughs> You actually feel a little more powerful. You do a little floors with your dagger. You dropped your dagger. Embarrassing. You and your friend's attack got a little tiny bit better. Yes! <laughs> Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. You can also save your progress by praying at the Change God statue. You close your eyes. Okay, six save slots. We can't go crazy, guys. Also, hi, Emerald. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You came in just in time? Like, the game hasn't started yet. No real lore has started. But welcome in. Man, 19 minutes in. <laughs> I'm editor. Cut it out. Wow. Okay. That's enough for today. You thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away, crossing it out for the reminder note. Oh, can I pray to it once a day? I'm gonna get so woke. 
or is, no woke is when you're like progressive. <laughs> Jet, swole. I meant to say swole. <laughs> okay, I continue on. Daydreaming one. Hmm. Huh. The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Oh. Hi. You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. And you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... Mirabelle? Mirabelle! I know her! She's from here! What a wonderful young woman. I never talked to her much, though. Hmm. I wonder, though. Is she the younger or older sister of your group? She'd fit both, wouldn't she? You laugh awkwardly. In the little exposition, it didn't say anything about Mirabelle being a sibling. But Bonnie was like... The younger, the younger sibling of a... Whose older sibling got frozen. If I remember correctly. Hello? Castle loving one. <laughs> you know... The end of the world is fine and all, but I only have one regret. I... I won't be able to know what happens to Lord Joseph, Irene, and the final issue, the cursing of Chateau Castle. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his friend Pierre Jacques Ernest? Did he finally find more about himself? Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worrying about today? A book series? Not their imminent death or anything? Weird. You know, some people got their hobbies. A pile of notes explaining the themes and hidden easter eggs in the series The Cursing of Chateau Castle. If this guy needs to make a Tumblr blog, he would pop off. A bookcase is filled with a series of novels called The Cursing of Chateau Castle. You've seen Mirabelle read one issue, so you assume the series is about romance, and also about terrible things happening to good people. Just like any good romance movie, right? You can see even more books peeking from under the bed. <laughs> okay, I can't go through the door in any house it appears, but that's fine. Oh, they got a little baby! A little figure of the change god. Oh, it's not a baby. <laughs> It's been crafted to dance lightly. This one looks very stylish. Stylish one. Big hat, impossibly warm looking cloak. You must be one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. She's pretty well known around here. The chosen one, you know? Blessed by the change god with the power to save Vargard. Plus, before all this, she was a housemaiden at the house of change nearby. She did classes, help out with the chores, help the other housemaidens with their studies and craft. Little perfect Mirabelle. Hmm. As for me, I think she's one of the most wonderful beings on Earth. No wonder the change God blessed her when she is this wonderful. I used to go to the house a lot for my classes, and she was always there taking the class with me. I've never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool, so helpful, so driven. Honestly, we're kind of best friends. Even though I never had a single conversation with her, Oh my gosh, she's parasocial. Talking to people is hard. You get it. You hope she'll get to talk to Mirabelle before tomorrow. Address her. Do not touch! My unmentionables are inside. Flush! Oh. You leave the dresser alone. Okay, valid. Don't go snooping through a girly's drawers. <laughs> it's a closet. It's filled with many beautiful dresses. Books about a variety of subjects, from woodworking to psychology. Some are written in Mudu. You wonder if the stylish lady is from there. A desk. There's a half-written letter on it, along with a pile of blank paper. Oh, those are my drafts from Mirabelle's letter! Don't look, please! You look away. Okay, I think she's a grocery stalker, low-key, high-key, but... I'm gonna get out of here before she does anything out of hand. Oh, 
Can I talk to you? Uh, I want to talk to you. <laughs> hey, wait up. Okay, fine. No, but like, if anybody approaches you when you're jogging, they're like, they're gonna kill you. So it's totally valid that they don't want to stop and talk. Big Bowlinger. Hey, want to buy something? You like to, but you can't buy much with only a silver coin. You show your silver coin anyway. With one of those, you can get a third of a pastry. But aren't you one of the saviors? Traveling with little Mirabelle. Don't worry about a thing, then. Can I get you anything on the house? A croissant, maybe? Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look at a stain when offered a croissant. A pawn on chocolate, then. Only monsters don't like pain on chocolate. You like those? You nod. Huh. One pawn on chocolate coming up. You got a pawn on chocolate. Yay. You think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. You try to control yourself and take only a small, dainty bite. But it's too yummy. In two bites, you've already swallowed the pastry whole. Not gonna lie, seeing a tiny one like you eat this like a rabid beast, that was disturbing, but also weirdly satisfying. Good luck tomorrow. Can you give me another, sir? My little girl, I don't usually let her in here. Too many dangerous things. But she says it's her dream to work with me in the... Ballangerie? Ballangerie? I don't, I don't know French. <laughs> I don't. Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. But she says it's her dream to work with me in the Ballangerie, and she might not be able to. Oh. Good luck tomorrow. Small Ballangerie. Um, oh, welcome. I I'm helping Papa today. Some croissants. You refuse to even look at them. Okay, we don't like croissants, but we like chocolate croissants? Like, what's the problem? A torch. It burns brightly. Various baking ingredients. Yo, why they got the ingredients in the front? I'm just gonna cop all this flour. Some baguettes. Smells heavenly. A little figure of the change god has been crafted to dance slightly. This one has clumsily drawn eyes and a drawn baguette for its mouth. <laughs> I made it! I made it myself! Okay, we can tell, kiddo. Thank you. <laughs> the door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormont knew how to lock doors. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. You can just punch it open, right? Another shop. Some papers. There's some sort of sale happening, it seems. Odile is here, looking at what the shop has to offer. Odile? Ooh, okay, new voice. Imagine them being kind of uppity, but what would an uppity voice sound like? Should it be like British? <laughs> or maybe like really, really like... Oh, Sifrin, you look rested. Glad to see you this late back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Questions. Okay, I like that voice. Kind of pompous, snarky. We're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. I hope you're prepared. The king and the sadnesses his destruction creates. They possess crafts capable of slowing us down, or even freezing us in time completely. So, as always, we're counting on you and your speed to keep us out of trouble. Ah. So you want me in the front again? Leading everyone if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive. 
so I don't see why that has to change. And as always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. Everyone except Boniface will be on battle duty, but I might ask Boniface to do something as well. It might be good for everyone to give the king some- Kid, kid. It might be good to give everyone to give- <laughs> I literally just took the human benchmark test. If there were any speaking tests in that questionnaire, I would have failed. I'm locking in. It might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Boring tactic talks, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey to the top of the house. Huh? Have you found it? Is your field of research tactics? Aw, oh, gems. Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No, my field of research isn't tactics. Isbo actually proposed that one last week, lay one. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. It will stay a secret forever. Questions. Clock tower, sleepover? A sleepover? Ah. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Boniface probably needs it. Maybe we all do. But the room only has three beds, right? I better get a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mirabelle and Bonnie? So we'll sleep on the ground, you and Isabeau. Yo! Yo! <laughs> okay, okay. Are we crashing on Issa or no? <laughs> no, I want the bed to myself. I toss and turn too much. We have a big fight tomorrow. Issa, of course. <laughs> Poor man. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided earlier we'd meet at the clock tower and all. Yeah. You already all planned to meet up at the clock tower, so was there a need for you to let everyone know? You could have just met everyone at the clock tower. Oh well. Not like you have anything better to do. Anything else? Questions. What will you do after? After tomorrow, if we survive? I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to Cabo. I haven't seen my country in many years. Before I met Mirabelle and Isabeau, my main goal was to travel to Vargard and see as many different places, sites, and cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling through Arabelle, so... Was it all for your research? Yes. Your research into... Culturology? Culturology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. I'll do that again. Reset. Culturology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. But it is the field of research you spent your life trying to create. Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? If we beat the king, that is. Will you go back to your own country, maybe? What will you do? I'll come up with my own field of research. <laughs> Questions. Ah, uh, that's all. Nah, nothing. Okay. I'll see you at the clock tower later, then. You talk to Odile. You cross Odile for the reminder note. Easy. Story-loving shopkeeper. Ahoy, traveling one! Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle has blessed... Has been... Can you believe Mirabelle has been blessed by the change god to save us all? The change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the change god protect her in her journey. You nod. The change god, huh? Okay, so we met Odile. Oh. Oh, I just can't walk past that way. Tutorial kid. <laughs> hey, you! The stranger doll with the hat. My name is Tutorial Kid. Tutorial Kid has the name Agath sewn into her clothes. My mom says you're very strong and you're gonna help save us all. But I need to challenge you to know your strength. So... Let's play rock, paper, scissors! Fine, I accept your challenge, bucko. <laughs> yeah! 
Battle start. Rock, paper, scissors. The only fight there is. You know how to play rock, paper, scissors, right? Who doesn't know how to play? Okay, question. I actually have a question for you guys. When you do rock, paper, scissors, do you do rock, paper, scissors? Or do you do rock, paper, scissors, shoot? I always did rock, paper, scissors. I don't know if it's like a regional thing or not. I'll do a poll. Wait, I lost the poll overlay. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Wait, did I do the pool wrong? <laughs> Wait, did I even do it? <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, pull is already active. I don't see no pull in my chat. What's going on? Do you guys see it? Okay, I don't see the stupid pull. How do I end the pull? <laughs> no pull yet? I know! Twitch to fix your website! I can't make a new pull because it says the pull is already there. Oh wait, okay, I see it now. It wasn't, okay, I'm resetting it. We'll make a new one, for real, for real. Okay, attack at scissors. I cannot spell scissors. Attack after scissors. Sorry guys, I'm an amateur streamer, allegedly. There it is. It works now. Okay, it works now. Guys, vote in the poll. <laughs> do you do rock, paper, scissors? Do rock, paper, scissors? Or rock, paper, scissors, shoot? I always did attack as scissors. I think it makes sense objectively because you're saying scissors. And oh no, I remember now. I remember they banned rock, paper, scissors, shoot at my school because you say shoot. <laughs> like... I remember that was why, because when I was in elementary, that's when, like, um, mass shootings were, like, popping off. Like, that's when they started becoming more common. So they, they literally banned saying rock, paper, scissors, shoot at my school. Wait, that's- I forgot about that for the longest time until just now. Guys, go vote. We're doing market research. It's also forbidden here, apparently? Wait, what? Okay, W, thank you guys for voting. Sorry that it took so long. I had to refresh my Twitch page. Can't say the S word in chat? Yeah, you, you can't say shoot in the chat. The only- there's only like two ways you can use the word shoot and they're both bad. Anyway, guys, it's time for an ad. <laughs> we are an hour in stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing. For $5.99, just $6, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your business prior to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. I can't vote. Yeah, the poll was only a minute long. So, it's fine. I was just- it was for fun. It's not like it was a gamble, so if you miss it, it's okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. See? Why are you skirting the automod? Emerald, you're literally a new follower. You can't be acting up like this. You can't be doing this shit. We get back to work. We've stalled. You know, I ran that poll just so I could stall the battle sequence. Who doesn't know how to play? Duh. Of course you do! What kind of person doesn't know rock, paper, scissors, considering it's the basis of combat, of, of war, of life? Let's play rock, paper, huh. 
Oh, okay. Sifrin time. I can craft. Oh, that's cool. There's little anecdotes. Rock. You make a fist and present it for a perusal. Scissors. You make a victory sign and present it for a perusal. Paper. You make a flat hand. Okay. Now you guys cannot remember this. I always do... I always do rock first. Because that's just where my hand lies. Because I think people usually do scissors first. But if I'm playing against my sister, she knows my opener. So I will always open with paper against her, because she will always do rock. Because she knows that I start with rock. But since this little kid does not know me, I'm going to start with rock. You throw rock. No! He read me so easily! No! The tutorial kid threw paper. <laughs> yeah! I threw paper. Paper wins against rock. Which means... <laughs> I win this round. Okay, let's do it again. Rock, paper. Okay, now, since this is the second round, they would not think I would do the same thing again, right? Rock. You throw rock. Satori Kid throws rock. <laughs> they thought I was gonna do scissors. Dumbass bitch. Oh, we both threw rock. When we throw the same thing, that's a draw. <laughs> You're a truly powerful opponent. Okay, last round. Rock, paper. Mm. Now, if we're playing mind games, this is a child, so they would probably cycle through all their items. They've done paper, they've done rock, they're probably gonna do scissors, so I am gonna do rock again! The tutorial kid threw scissors. You threw rock? No. Oh, I threw scissors. Why this? Okay, it was a draw because we had a 1-1 one, one, and then a draw. Man, I'm so good. No. This can't be a draw. You're quite powerful, hat adult. I'll give you that. Now I know the basics of rock, paper, scissors. So you're invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. Man, I feel so good. I know it was a draw, but I still- I read them! Just throw a little rock and win it instantly? No, I think that's like... a criminal offense. <laughs> Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin! Do you need anything? Questions. How are you feeling? How I'm feeling? Oh, being in Dormont, you mean? It's nostalgic. This is where I lived before, after all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house. Dormont itself hasn't changed much, but the house... We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted it has become. I was the only one who managed to escape the house when the king attacked. So many people must be hurt. Or... Maybe they're all... Mira, we'll save them all tomorrow. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. Questions. What will you do after? After? Well, won't it jinx us to talk about this? Well, I'll need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Beating the king should make their time flow again, and they won't be frozen anymore. And... I need to talk to the head housemaid and apologize for taking so long. She was the one supposed to beat the king. She would have done a better job than I did. If only the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize, I was thinking of traveling again. You know, you know, as a housemaid in a house of change. I'm supposed to keep striving for change. Even more than normal believer. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage. I said it said pillaging and I got really scared. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage, which I haven't done yet. Uh... Didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? No. I mean, I don't think so. The pilgrimage is all about learning new things, and seeing new places, and changing yourself and other people you meet. 
This journey couldn't be that, but... I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Mirabelle. Oh. You feel like she's changed a lot since you've met her. But who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? What will you do? Go on a pilgrimage too, maybe. Oh? That's great! But I thought... Oh, change! Are you thinking of converting to the House of Change? The House would be delighted! I have some pamphlets! Pass. Nah, I'm fine staying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'll see you later. I already know where people are. I just gotta find them. It seems like Sifrin morphs to what everybody else is doing. Because when we talk to Odao, we're like, oh yeah, we'll start researching. And when we talk to Mirabel, we're like, oh yeah, we'll travel. Sifrin is probably all the 20-something-year-olds who have just graduated college who feel so lost when they don't find a job in their field. You know, this game was made for you guys. Sorry, I'm changing my mouse because it's flashing because it's dead. Like the battery's dead, not that I killed the mouse. <laughs> I'm locked in. The sign says East Dormont Clock Tower. Okay, I'm gonna see where I need to go. Reminder note. You look at the note. You've crossed a few things out already, but you read it all again. Sifrin, don't forget to get everyone! Odal is probably in the shop getting supplies. The shop is that building with a bunch of barrels around it. I saw Bonnie go to the east. They're probably near the veggie fields. Just go east and then south. And Isabel must be at the favor tree to the west. Give him some time, though. I think he has a lot to ask for. Before you go talk to him, you can walk around Dormont. I'm sure people would be happy to talk. There's a little girl with pigtails slightly north. I think she really likes to talk about battles. Don't be afraid to talk to anyone in the village. And, well, also, you should see the Change God statue and pray for victory. If you want, you really should. Let's meet at the clock tower to the east after. Just jump over the broken bridge and you'll find it. Yours, Mirabelle. On the bottom of the paper, a crafted drawing animates back and forth. It's some kind of thick, flowy line. What is it? You should ask her. Okay, what's the line? What's the thing you drew? She drew a thick flowing line on the reminder note. What's that about? What I drew on the note? It's a flowing ribbon, silly! Like the one of my hair, see? Oh. I have a feeling that's not what it is. Or maybe she's one of the girlies who likes those red ribbon or the red string fanfics on Wattpad. <laughs> okay, I have to go to the... I said I have to go to the east. Eastward? And then to the west. But the clock tower is to the west. Isabel is probably at the tree. You shouldn't bother him. What? I'm checking my note again. I literally forgot. <laughs> Bonnie's to the east in the veggie fields. Go east and then south. Okay, so there's an intersection whenever I go to the right. And I have to talk to Bo last. She drew a ribbon on the bottom of the paper. It's supposed to be her. Huh. Because she wears one. You get it. You're very smart. Yes, sir. 
the smartest there ever was. Oh, there's a lot of people. Blind one. Oh, -ho. is someone there? Yeah, hello. Ah, <laughs> hello there. Oh, I don't recognize your voice. Are you perhaps one of the saviors? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. It's very nice to meet you. I met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, and went back to look at my veggie field. They said my vegetables look really shiny and delicious, so I would die for them now. Oh. Hopefully not literally. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't make such jokes, considering... Considering they might actually die soon because of the king's curse. Oh, awkward. The door seems to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcoming village like Dormant knew how to lock doors. Must be a magical lock. Sky loving kid. The kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look so weird. <laughs> Are you from up in the sky? Are you? How did you know? Yes! I knew it! If you're from the sky, then I'm gonna give this back to you. <gasps> Dude, you gotta feed it to the Delulu kids. You got a four-pointed leaf. You put the leaf in your pocket along with your souvenirs. It fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Mm-hmm. The kid nods stoically. Yeah, I got a leaf. Frog loving kid. The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. I won't talk to it. Let it let the kid live. I'll come back to you. Wizard loving kid. Hey! Hey! Big hatted one! My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't mean you're a wizard. Because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? How you wish. Nope, just a traveler. Boring. The kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. Dude, it's a kid. <laughs> oh, I don't think the kid wanted to talk anyway. Sad. Beautiful one. Oh, hello, traveler. I hope the smell in here isn't too overpowering. I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us in Dormont talked a few days back, and we decided that while you'll be exploring the house to fight the king, everyone in the village will be partying. That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't, and we all get frozen by the king's curse, we'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. A party? Uh, good for you. I can tell you find that weird, but if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change, and any type of change deserves to be celebrated. Wait, is this about, like, the rapture? Wait. Vaugard is so weird. A kitchen station. Whatever they're cooking, it smells heavenly. Beautiful cutlery. Piles of plates. Dude, imagine all the dishes after tomorrow's banquet. Mm-mm. Shells filled with various foods. Being near them makes your stomach grumble. Some recipes. Drawing kid. This kid seems to be drawing pictures of someone. Aww. It's Mirabelle. It's Mirabelle. The kid beams at you. They shuffle their drawings around to show you another one. Please don't be something creepy, please. It's always the kids. Okay, thank God. 
Uh, it's you. It's me. The kid smiles and kicks their feet happily. You really like their art. Maybe... Can you draw me something I can take with me? The kid looks at you for a moment and then gets to work. Man, they whipped that out so quick! It's you and your friends. It's me and my friends. The kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. You got the friendship doodle. You put the drawing in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one. The kid laughs happily and gets back to drawing. The kid grins at you and gets back to drawing. That was cute. Meh. Meh. <laughs> I didn't want to fully commit, to be honest. Oh, I want to look up what pansies symbolize. Because I think they symbolize death? Because this town only has pansies. Okay, what do... What do... Pansy... Flowers symbolize. Okay, so pansies symbolize love, romantic, platonic, and affection. They also stand for compassion, remembrance, and nostalgia. Oh, a pocket full of posies. Because, you know, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Posy flower. Oh, okay, so a posy is just a small bundle of flowers. Like a tiny bouquet. Oh, okay. I, I thought posies were, like, actual flowers. You learn something new every day, guys. This is an educational channel. Why did I think pansies symbolize death? Anyway. Flower growing one. Hello! Ah, aren't you one of the saviors traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. I wish I could help you in some way. I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that can make someone like you happy. Here, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. You got the bright flower. You put the flower in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You can give the flower to one of your party members by talking to them. Who are we gonna raise? A four petal flower full of hidden meaning. You can gift it to your friends. Hmm. We don't know everybody well enough yet, so... We shouldn't do anything. Let's go find Bonnie. Friends, what's that? Don't worry, there's lots of friends in the chat, just not me. Right, guys? Chap one? <laughs> but hi, Vic. Welcome back. And is that a tier two in the chat? Ain't no way. We got Bonnie. Bonnie is here. Looking more... More silly? Wait, more, more. What is that word? <laughs> I've never seen that word in my life. It looks like morsel, like a little crumb, but it's not. Morosely? I'm. I learn something new every day. Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie. Hey, Fred. Oh boy. Well, what do you want? Questions. The clock tower? Sleepover? A sleepover? That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Hey. It was Mira's, actually. Oh! Then it's a great idea! Uh, why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. Questions. 
It means sadly? It means gloomy. Okay, that makes sense. With my contact clues and watching Bonnie sigh, it makes sense. But I've never seen morosely. I know that's not how you say it. <laughs> you know, I took AP Lit, but I failed my final exam. I got a two. Worrying about tomorrow? No. Not even a little bit. That's a lie. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk about my sister! And anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move from her spot. Bonnie's sister is in Bamash, a coastal village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Unless he managed to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. Questions. Also, thank you for the follow! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? I don't think Bonnie likes us, so I don't want to give the flower to Bonnie. Sorry. What will you do after? If we beat the king, I'll go and see my sister in Bamash. Duh. And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really, really tried. Tried what? And then? here anyway, so you won't be here to ask me stupid questions, you crab! What about you anyway? What will you do? I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. I bet you can't even go there anyway. Huh, <laughs> I totally can. Wait, really? How? It's a secret. This is why I don't like you, Sifrin. Ah. Questions. Should I give the flower? Maybe I'll win over Bonnie. I'll try. Screw it. There's a flower for you. You're giving me a flower? She was too stunned to speak. Why? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Bonnie hesitantly takes the flower and stares at it intently. Does it make them happy? That's all, nothing. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. He talked to Bonnie. He crossed Bonnie from the reminder note. Wait, do, did I lose the flower? No, it's gone! Oh, was that a mistake? Got to when I need that flower. God damn it. Well, let's see if I can buy another one. Oh, wait, I have no money. Sir, can you give me another? Good luck tomorrow. We're all counting on you. I think I ruined this run, guys. It's Jover. I gave the flower to Bonnie! I think we can talk to Bo now. Oh, it's letting me go. What if I try to sneak up on him? Isabel was here, probably pondering what favor to ask the tree. Is a Ooh, what voice? What voice? Should we do the the anime protagonist voice? Like the the weirdly like wispy. Cause I don't I don't see Bo having like a deep voice. Plus the deep voice hurts my throat. <laughs> Let's try. Siv. Issa. Siv. Issa. Siv. Okay, that's enough. Ah, boo. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. 
Isn't this tree cool? Wait, should I do the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I kind of want to do that voice. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Yes! You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder, but stops and brings it to his side. No, he couldn't make a move! No, he's throwing! Ha! <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna go soon as... I'm gonna go soon. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Questions for Issa. Clock tower? Sleepover? Huh? A sleepover? Crab, yeah. Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bon Bon and Mira will share, and Madame Odal will take her own. Which means, <laughs> we'll share beds again, Sif. I got dibs on the left side. Sure, or I'm actually sharing the Mira. Okay, I assume Sifron is like supposed to be like neutral or gender queer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just say sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But please try not to hog the covers this time. It's getting cold at night. What's up with the big tree? Oh? You don't know about the favorite tree. Well, it's just a random big tree. But you're a believer in the House of Change. The biggest tree in a certain place is called a favorite tree. It's like, it, it's the tree with the most power. So you can ask it things? As a favor. Like, please help me pass my defender exams. Which is like a totally random example. Wasn't Isabel a defender? Did you ask a mythical tree to help you pass her exams? And I passed it with flying colors, thank you very much. Well, I did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much. But even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. And I should have given the flower to Isabeau. What will you do after? After we beat the king? Wow, Sif. So confident! So cool! I like it! I mean, I like you. No, I, I like it. I think I'll just return home to Javante. I don't have anything else planned. I wonder how Javante's doing. When we left it, it was still standing, moving. But I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. So then... Will you take your job back? Nah. Being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admired the defenders, you know? It's about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Wait, is he... Is he Blue Lives Matter? Oh no, I don't think we can date Isabeau anymore, guys. Helping them out with whatever they need? Be it getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags? But when Mira came to Javante asking for help, after Dormont's house had fallen, I was ready to help. For all of Javante's defenders to help, and you know what they said? Nah. And I can tell that they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders see is, like, a robbery, maybe. So suddenly helping to save Vargard was too much for them. But not helping because you're scared? I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit. And I won't go back. Wait, is he a cab now? I'll do something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. He's gone woke. So maybe I could just take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. That sounds great, Issa. <laughs> I know you'd approve. But what about you, Sif? What will you do when we beat the king? What will you do? I'll start a comedy club. <laughs> Isn't that basically what streaming is, type 1? Wait, really? Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Finally, more people will be able to hear your puns. That's all. Okay. 
I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. I like him the most. He's cool. You talk to Isabeau. You cross Isabeau for the reminder note. Time to go to the favorite tree. Uh -oh. oh, I thought that was a stranger, but that's us looking up. Just like the hit movie. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get the tabby chat. Isn't that pretty cool? We've already gotten one follower today. Can we hit our daily goal of five? Also, if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Dude, I forgot how hard story games are. It's a lot of yapping. Okay. <clears throat> The favorite tree looms above you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favorite tree for something, after all. Wait, the child gave me a leaf. You look around for a leaf you like and think, Hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power like a big tree sounds pretty close to a wish, you think? A wish. A wish. I love your Isabel impression. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Welcome in, Blue. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Also, thank you for waiting for 10 minutes to chat. I really do appreciate that. But welcome in. I feel like all the voices I gave for the characters so far fit. You know what I mean? The favorite tree seems to be popular among people in Vargard lately. You think it's if people came to make a wish. They'd probably wish for Vargard to be saved. Wait, everybody's just selfish. You don't really need to add another wish like that to the pile. The trees are probably already on it. But you feel bad wishing for something big and taking away from everyone's wish to save Vargard. Something small, then. Something simple. Something nice. I would wish for a GF. Okay. You have a few ideas. But, sh but you can only choose one. You wish. Who do I want to smash? Who do I want to smash? <laughs> to visit more places with Mirabeau. To wear clothes Isabeau has made. To go with Odell to save her country. To be here when Bonnie reunites with her sister. Or their sister. All of these sound chill. First impression wise, I do like Bo. <laughs> I like Bo. Not because I'm straight. I do have LGBTQIA tag. But Bo seems the most fun. But Mirabelle is like the golden girl. No spoilers, but I think Mirabelle is like an op. I think she's a fed. Why is she the chosen one? And then if I date Mirabelle, then I'm just living in Mirabelle's shadow. I assume this picks, like, our final cutscene. I'll pick Isabeau. Because he's seen the most fun. You didn't expect to have so much fun traveling with Isabeau. You often joke together, but you never really talk about real, important things. Oh, no! He's immature. We're glad he told you about his dream to become a clothing designer. It suits him. To talk to him and watch him as he crafts clothes for you to wear. Seeing a smile as you wear something he created himself it would make you happy. You want to stay with them. A wish in mind, you look at the leaf you've chosen and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf. Repeat it three times and fold the leaf closed, keeping your wish shaved. All done. Gently you let the leaf go and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. So, the clock tower to the east of town past the broken bridge, huh? It may be time for you to head out there. Can I make another wish? The favorite tree is here. You can see the leaf with your wish swaying gently in the wind. I guess not. Sad.
the clock tower I go. In real life, who would I give the flower to? It would be between Bo and Bonnie. I do think it would be kind of funny to give a token of appreciation to someone that does not like you just to see how they'd react. But then, Bo would think I'm flirting. I don't know. I probably still would have given it to Bonnie if this were like me actually. This is the way to the clock tower. You did all you needed to do so you could join everyone at the clock tower. I cannot go back. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You know what I'm sorry to say, Ethan? There are no three R's in chat today. There's no ers in chat. You're the first one of your little gang to show up today. Not yet, surely. Can we continue on? No secret there. Have I checked the character profiles? I have not. Sifrin! You're here! We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. Okay, I already forgot Bo's voice. <laughs> You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought back a bunch of food. Let's go, let's go! Isabeau. Phew. Bon Bon. That was delicious. You keep getting- <laughs> Sorry, wrong voice. You keep getting better at cooking, Boniface. Those samosas- Samosas? Mimosas? Also, I feel like the music got loud for a second. You keep getting better at cooking, Boniface. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad? You liked it? I, I mean, of course it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef? I'm a chef cooker. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We all slept well t We'll all- Dude, I cannot talk. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. We'll all sleep well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. I don't think I can move. Was it too much? You could have eaten more. Ah, Sif, are you still hungry? Friend, you ate a lot, huh? You liked my cooking a lot, huh? Here, have some more food since you're so hungry and like my cooking so much. Bonnie gives you one carrot slice. Chomp. How can you still eat? How can such a small body eat that much? I'm a growing kid. A growing kid that drinks alcohol? <laughs> you're older than most of the people here. You mean cutely. Yo, we're getting lit! Um, everyone? Can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we... We've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all... Traveling through Vaugard to get the orbs needed to open the house's gates again. There's no way I could have done this alone. I... I want to say thank you. For coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we'll go and fight the king. Someone who's thrown Vargard into stillness and silence. Someone who has now frozen almost all of Vargard in time. I, I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you. But if you don't want to come, if you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Maribel, isn't it? I... I know. I... And by that, Madame O'Dowell means that we're with you. Of course I do. We've come this far, after all. 
Did you really think we'd leave you behind? Let you go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. We'll stay with you, Mira. You never let her go alone, after all. Yeah, Spartan got banned the other day. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna clear the chat. <laughs> I don't like... I like clear. Get it off the screen. Yeah, Spartan got banned the other day. They were acting up. Offline. So... Perma, basically, they were acting up. <laughs> so I was like, bro, <laughs> mature a little bit and we'll see you in a year. You better not be late for your appointment. I'm able to stream until two today. So, hi Kim, welcome in. I did not, okay, chat, I did not ban Ethan. He banned himself. Also, guys, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro streamer. Huh? Huh? I'll get back to work. Oh. Oh, thank you. Isabel and Bonnie hug Maribel tightly, while you and Odal stand a bit apart like always. We don't like touching. <laughs> My chatbot says I've been timed out. You're literally lying. I don't appreciate slander. You're lying. You're lying. It's not going away. If it says you were timed out, you'd not be able to chat. It, don't be spreading lies. If I lived in Japan, I could literally sue you for slander right now. But I don't. Maybe I'll retire there. No, maybe. No, I want to live in Hawaii when I get old. You, like, live longer when you live in Hawaii. My grandma lived till she was 96. Oh, also, we have more chatters now, so I'll say this again. My grandma's funeral is scheduled for October. So you know what? You guys got me for a few more weeks this month. Who says you don't live in Japan? <laughs> no, if I lived in Japan, I would stream at, like, midnight American time. It would be so bad. Nobody would watch. Okay, anyway, back to work. This is when the audience at a theater would say, Oh. Let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. Wait, who are we sleeping with? Wait, I'm scared. I heard a noise. Hey, Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifruni. Isabel was whispering your name. Oh my god! Oh, Lee! Um, sorry to wake you up. I just, I have to tell you something. If that's okay. He dares to interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, so this must be important. You nod. Okay. Okay. O okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke up to tell you. <laughs> um. Okay. So. The thing I have to tell you. Is. That. I... I... I don't have anything to tell you right now. But but I will when, um... When we beat the king tomorrow. Okay? Okay, let me just say this for all the folks who have crushes. Just confess, why are you stalling? Don't let those feelings fester for too long. Because if you wait too long and don't make an effort to show that you do truly care, that way, when you do confess, it's too late. It's too late. What's the worst that can happen if you confess? They say no, you move on and get a new crush. 
It's so simple. Also, mods ban Ethan. Go to horny jail, please. That's so ominous, Issa. It's it's not meant to be. I uh, I just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. And we wouldn't want that, right? So, uh, I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? What could he want to tell you? It seems important to him. Dude, we're literally in the same bed. Oh my god. So the only thing you can say is, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a pillow. Thank God, I thought it was something else. Some people are trying to sleep. Yeah, Isabeau. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, house maiden. You're gonna wake- <laughs> You close your mouth, house maiden. Mouse. Mouse! Okay. You close your mouth, house- Okay. Mouth? House? Those words together. It's difficult. You close your mouth, housemaid, and you're gonna wake up Metamodile. I'm already up. Uh-oh. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, madame. Uh, sorry. This game is rated teen, don't worry. Yo, where was he looking? <laughs> uh, good night, Sif. You feel safe surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. Oop. Wait, this looks like Paper Mario. <laughs> oh no, not this again. The house's gate. You look up at it. The house is gate, huh? It's bitter- <laughs> It's bitter. It's bigger than I thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure, this whole journey, after all this time, I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. It also looked like a giant Easter egg. <laughs> Get ready for some intense rock, paper, scissors. Don't worry, I know the strats. For rock, paper, scissors, not like actual combat. I do know some self defense. Oh, that's so cute. All in a line. That sure is a broken pillar. Tell them you like their pants and they pick scissors? I assume that's a normal joke, but whenever I think of pants next to scissors, I think of like... I don't know. <laughs> I am LGBTQI tagged! <laughs> A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone. Let's, um... Uh... Don't get overwhelmed now. Come on. We've seen tons of those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Oh, okay, but... Mirabelle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking would make her feel better. Something to distract her. Something like... Oh my. Should we go over strategy again? Don't tease me, Sifrin. But, um, yes. I would like that. 
So, um, to start with, set friend should... You're about to enter a battle. Here are some basic stats about you and your party members to remember. You. Scissors type, weak to rock. Wait, is it actually rock, paper, or scissors? <laughs> Fast, can make everyone faster. Mirabelle. Scissors, paper type, weak to rock. Heals and can boost friends' attack. Isabel. Rock type, weak to paper. Hits hard and can boost friends' defense. Odile. Paper type, weak to scissors. Can use craft spells of any type. Slow, but can make enemies slower. Bonnie. Helps out randomly in battle. But most importantly, snack duty. Okay, so, excuse me, Bonnie's the healer. I hate this. Sorry, Bonbon. Bon. The sadnesses in here are too powerful for your tiny little arms. You can help out sometimes, as long as you make sure to keep your distance. But you know that's boring, so that's why we also made you in charge of snacks. It's a super duper very important job, you know. The super duper importantest. Don't patronize the kid. Yeah, don't patronize me. <laughs> All good? All good. You smile. Wait, we should have slept with Mirabelle. Damn it. I will not be keeping my distance for lush. <laughs> Monster time. Wait, why is the monster kind of... Phew. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. You focus on healing. Big guy over here can hit things. And you, Sifrin. Keep the puns and one-liners to a minimum, please. Okay. Rude. We should examine the sadness first to know what we're up against, so... So it's your job, madame. Yes. Please slow down, everyone. Let me attack first for once. What is my turn? I'll examine the enemy by using a craft skill. Okay, and examining does not use a turn. Huge. Well, now exam analyzes the enemy. Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Their grief and sadness is all that remains. They cannot tell friend from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every sadness has a different resistance and weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure it out from their appearance. Um, we need to do certain hand signs when we craft skills. So maybe we should look at their hands? Very well done, Boniface. So this sadness must be... Sifrin? What do you think? If you look at its hands... Scissor, duh. Yeah! It's doing a scissor sign! Indeed it is. So this enemy is scissors type, what's the best type of attack we can use against it, Sifrin? Your turn again. Um, rock attacks, duh! Yeah! Rock beat scissors! Exactly. Thankfully, even after examining this enemy, it's still my turn. And thankfully, you can use all three types of craft. Yes. I'm still paper type though, so hopefully the sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. Oh, okay. So I guess Odile is like a mage? No, I don't know. I don't play RPGs. They can play any time. Rock 3, deal rock damage to one enemy, two turn. Paper 3 deals paper damage to one enemy. Okay, so this is a uh, scissor, so weakness is rock. Yo! Yeah! Great hit, Madame Aldile. Um, what's that symbol that appeared on the right after you attacked? I know you said it before, but I forgot. Huh. Good eye, Boniface. Don't worry about it right now. Just remember it's there for later. Let's finish beating up the sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. It, it's our turn to attack whenever our attack god is filled, right? It's that gosh that fills up automatically when no one is doing anything. Precisely. Let's defeat the sadness now. 
Oh, okay. So you can't just spam one character, it seems. Hmm. It's Gage? Nah. Everything I do is gay. <laughs> the Gage is gay. <laughs> You let me play rock, paper, scissors. Separate time. I want to see what craft they have. Okay, so the craft are like status attacks. Wait, this is just like Pokemon. Wait, do I not do rock damage? I'll try two cleaver by half. Scissor damage and then it also lowers enemy attack for three turns. You say a funny catchphrase. Mirabelle craft. Scissor damage. Heal. Boost friend's attack. Heals paper damage. Oh yeah, because bow is our rock type. You can skip your turn. I saw that too. Okay, Bo has smash rock damage. Give your turn. Come on. Boost friend's defense. Rock damage. It's just a normal attack. Yup. Oh, wait. Okay, so the enemy also has an attack dodge too. Why ain't it filling? Okay, somebody got auto modded. Yeah, eggplant emoji is a blocked emoji in my chat. Different <laughs> time. Three turn drop. Does that mean I can't use it for three turns? Well, I usually just do pure offense whenever I play RPGs normally. Yahoo! We did it! <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? It was! Just look at that enemy's hand to find out their type and attack accordingly! You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. We did it! See, Mira? It wasn't that bad. Going through the house will be a piece of cake. You smile and take the lead. Now the icons match the move type we did. That were next to Odile. They'll probably explain that later. Okay, that is not a pick of... Touchable item, pick up, up, pick up, up. Oh, you guys know what time it is, right? We're two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. Oops, wrong command. <laughs> <laughs> so you can avoid the ad by subscribing for five ninety nine, just six dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Get boomed. My glasses keep falling down, it's really bothering me. Okay, we're two hours in. Allegedly, the game has four acts. And it's 20 to 24 hours. And I'm still in tutorial. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Guys, it's a subathon until 2.30, because I need to go. Oh, more sadnesses. We'll have to find them if we want to proceed, or we could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, could we keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe? Huh. I'd like a refresher, too. But yes. All right. Let's keep fighting, then. 
Well, as your battle, the sadness has touched you, Sifrin, so get ready. He got me! Rock type. Alright. What's this one's type? Sifrin? <laughs> your turn again? It's a rock type. Wait, is it not? Correct. Okay. You got me. Yes, yeah, Sif. You did it, Sif. Okay. Phew. And if it's a rock type, it is weak to... Again. Stars, you know this. It's weak to paper. Correct again. Sifrin, you're so talented! You know so many things. Congrats, Sifrin. Dude, she's glazing like crazy. <laughs> Damn, I should have slept with Mirabelle. Like platonically in a bed. Ah. <laughs> All right. We went over attacks and types. So let's talk about craft skills. Compared to normal attacks, craft skills are more powerful. Or may allow us to heal or buff ourselves up. Enemies won't be shy about using craft skills, so we shouldn't either. But using one craft skill means it'll go into cooldown. After using one, we won't be able to ex ex after using one, we won't be able to execute the same skill for a few turns. Okay, that's what I thought the little drop emoji meant. It it's usually fine, but it might be dangerous. With the <laughs> it's usually fine, but it might be dangerous. With the dangerous with S W with. N it's usually fine, but it might be dangerous with healing skills. I'll try to make sure to use my healing skills carefully so I don't run out at a dangerous moment. But even if it does happen, there's items to recharge our cooldown skills and there, and there might even be skills and equipment out there to help out. That is true. In the meantime, let's attack, shall we? Feel free to try things out. Okay, I already checked out some of the, the craft skills already. No! Cyprin's turn. Give your turn to a friend, boosting their attack and crit chance. I'll try to turn it up. Let's give it to Odal, because Odal is the paper type. Oh, and the insta get to attack. Okay. Paper 3. Deals paper damage to one enemy. I'll try base attack. Yo! Pretty buffy friend. Slay. <laughs> Why are these enemies so scandalous? I think... It's a you problem. I'm not thinking anything right now. They're just nor they're just existing and you're like itemizing them. Thank you, Blue. You know, I my guess is Mirabel is going to blossom and become like super lovely and confident and a queen or she's a fed. Okay, I'm just going to attack. Oh yeah, she's a scissor type. Well, maybe the enemy shouldn't dress like that, slash J. Okay. Or wait, isn't it slash S? Oh yeah, SRS is serious and then S is sarcasm. Let's see, what does Bo have? Bo has rock, so it should be neutral. Let's try kaboom. <laughs> Isabel yells kaboom. <laughs> He's like a Pokemon. <laughs> we did it. The really, what are those symbols that appear when you did rock, paper, and scissors attack? You'll see. You know, I'll say it, Odile is my least favorite. And I think it's because I, in real life, am most like Odile. 
You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. All right, let's go get that other one. Oh, I was trying to dip and dodge. Paper. All right, what's this one's type? <laughs> Let's see. Do you know this? Isabeau? Huh? Me? Well, uh, it's paper type, madame. And so means it's weak to scissors. Sips type. And Mirabelle's. And Mirabelle's, of course. And I have scissor skills at my disposal as well. Yes, madam. I knew that. Uh huh. Since it's weak to scissors, I think you should use scissors attacks a bunch. Great idea, Boniface. I wonder what will happen if we use the same type of craft skill multiple times in a row. <laughs> okay, so that means I should save Odile's skills. when I have a type disadvantage. Did I use make up the time? I don't think I did. Deal scissor damage to one enemy might lower enemy's defense. I'll do this one. That way when Mirabelle attacks. Uh oh. This enemy's got a lot of health. It's blocked because of the tutorial? Oh. It let me play it earlier, though. Or, like, I didn't play it, but it let me select it. That's fine. Just base attack then, I guess. Feels like you guys are on a roll with those scissor attacks. I don't have any scissor attacks. So how about I give my turn away to somebody who does? Which is, like we've established earlier, literally everyone but me, I guess. <laughs> That's what you get for being a rock type. Hey everyone, I'm being bullied by a preteen. Please advise. You'll get over it. But great idea, Isabel. To make sure we keep using the same type right after the other, Use that skill of yours to give your turn away. Or you can guard if you want. Oh, wait! Maybe if you have three of the same attack types in a row, you get like a bonus. Ult. My cool, your turn craft skill. I'm not saying that. I kind of want to give it to Mirabelle because she's the furthest away from a turn. Okay, so next, let's... Uh-oh. Madame Odile? Ugh. The sadness is about to attack Odile. Isabel got in front of her. Oh. He's so stupid. Isabel! Owie. I'll, I'll see you all in a minute. Isabel is K.O. Oh, uh, oh. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't you need someone to be killed for your tutorial anyway? Very true. Let's keep this tutorial going, then. Thank you for playing along. <laughs> no problem. I'll stay right here, then. Stop talking! You're K.O. and K.O. people can't talk. Wait, what? What is it? Did this be a bad word? Okay. Hmm. Is it really okay? Anyway, when someone's health points or HP goes down to zero, they'll be all cold and won't be able to fight anymore. There's multiple ways to wake him up, like using a crafted water, or if Mirabel knew a craft skill to revive him. But how about we make this interesting? With... Oh! I don't know what those scissor symbols are for. If we do a combo and have five of the same symbol, we can do a jackpot skill. Exactly, Boniface. And see, we already have a combo of three right there. I'm so smart. 
When we can fight with the same symbol, whether rock, paper, or scissors, we'd be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, and scissor attacks count for the jackpot, by the way. We should be careful with how we use these skills. But we can only but we can only use any other type of com We should be careful with how we use these skills. But we can use any other type of skill or item without breaking the combo. Oh, okay, so it doesn't have to be in a row. Yay. A combo will save me. Please do a combo. You heard the man. Let's add two more scissor symbols to our ladder, shall we? So strong. Now get ready. Everyone unleashed a scissor attack. Yahoo! We won! And I'm not out cold anymore! Every time we manage to use a jackpot skill, anyone who's out cold is revived. And we all get healed a little bit as well. Wait, that's huge. We should try to do combos as often as we can. Hmm. That's cool and all, but... What have you won without doing that jackpot skill? What would... Would you have just left me there? No. Uh, of course not. We have some items. We would have revived you. We'll always revive anyone who KOs after a battle. Can't make unconscious people run around, can we? Are, we really, are you really this upset that we left you alone for two minutes? Nah, not really. I'm just doing my part. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. That's sad. It is. But you're not supposed to say it out loud, Boniface. Hey. And that's the end of this little refresher. All good, Mirabelle? Uh, yes. Thank you very much. You think you got everything, too? You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Okay, that's kind of good. We revive after every bottle, after every bottle, and then you get a free revive when you get the five combo. Sorry for not paying attention, Isabel. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial? <laughs> Let's get going then. Enemies do not respawn at this point. You know what I always say? Right is right. There's something sparkling there. What's this sparkling thing? Oh, it's the key. Could it be the key to open the door? Probably, right? You pick it up. You found the circle key. The key can- The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle. Inside a circle. Does it mean something? What's up with the circles? The design of the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's to show that we are all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also a part of the housemaid's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yes. This is how we decided... Yes, this is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. As a necklace, a design in your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch. Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? I sure do. Let it go. It's fine. You put the key in your pocket. Yeah. Sifrin does not have any, like, piercings or decoration or jewelry. They're just like me for real, for real. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. We went to the far right, now we go far left. A storage room! Let's look around. I see a few tonics on these tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet too. 
There might be some cool stuff in there. You should check those out. Some small glass containers. You look around. You found a sour tonic. Someone just took the bottle from you. Dial said I'm on tonics duty. Tonics are good to keep your HP up so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. But the sourness is sure to make you more awake and ready for anything. You got a super sour tonic. Oh! Sour tonics for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics when they're the same size. They're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full sour tonic once. And what happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks! Let's avoid that, shall we? <clears throat> you look at what's on the table. You found a craft of water. Someone just took the bottle from you. Dial also said I'm on water duty. Um, this is crafted water. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just drop- Just a drop of it is enough to wake them right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? In no way. You open the closet. It's full of boxes and papers, and a pendant shaped like a bell. You got a bell pendant. Well, that closet was useless. But a pretty pendant, though. Can the pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. You look at the pendant closely. It's just a pendant shaped like a bell. But you like it. So you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Tonics and, Tonics and any useful items will usually be visible. But you might get some useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. It's a barrel full of water, a stool, a pillar. You look at what's on the table. You found one ginger juice. You found one pepper juice. You found one thyme juice. You just give it all to them. <laughs> you learn fast, Fran. Be careful with those items, Boniface. Guard them well. Be ready to throw those at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making all of us carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep her items safe. The person who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion. No, I don't trust Sifrin with items. <laughs> you cutely bat your eyes. Still, that's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one. Pepper raises your attack, ginger raises your defense, and time makes you go faster. Because spicy stuff makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick, and time... Well, I don't actually know why time makes you faster. Me neither. Maybe because it's tall... Damn it. Maybe because it's called time. So clever. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Alright! Let's go! You take a step forward, and suddenly... Is something wrong, Sifrin? Huh? Did you see that light? A light? Here. You should take a look at this. Before going any further, you should look at the glowing light. Oh, in the center. I didn't see it. Something wrong, Sif? You point towards the light. So they can't see it. Reaching out, you touch the light. Everyone was healed. You can save your progress by touching the star. Save your progress? Uh, yes sir? You close your eyes. Nice. Well, that seems useful. 
He smiled and turned back towards everyone. What was that about? I received a good omen. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's great news. What was it? Don't know, don't care. Let's please get going. He nod. Oh! Oh my god! Wait! Ah! What? What is it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry. Um, I... I... Don't know if this is relevant, but... I, um... I recognize this corridor. Oh? I recognize it. The head housemaid of this house used to warn us about it. I think... I think she called it the Death Corridor. <gasps> oh, that sounds bad. So... So... Um... The house is supposed to be a safe building. With the king here, some traps might be activated. Is this what you mean? Traps? Traps. A job for me, then. It is your job. Protect us, trap master. Not the first time you've had to reassure Mirabelle. Time to look around. Okay, surely I cannot go down the center path. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to. Wait. There's no giant rolling boulder? Like from the hit series Indiana Jones? This probably leads further into the house. But you have to put Mirabel at ease and check this room. This is a broken pillar. You look around, trying to find something. Anything. Did you find something? There is something. Yep. A whole lot of nothing. Nothing? You know, it's good to be cautious. Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so... So? So? Are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The older housemaid has kept saying people died there. So there must be a trap. Something weight sensitive or something. Or... Or... Maybe it's time sensitive. If we spend too long here... Oh, come on now. There's nothing weird in here. But there must be! Ah, oh, Mira. Belle, Belle, don't worry about it. Friend isn't... Friend isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey. Right. If we can't trust the ones who's supposed to lead us this early, this won't bode well for later. Hey. But... But... We're not dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room for a while. And Sifrin has been walking everywhere. So if it was weight sensitive, something would have killed him by now. Exactly. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll believe you. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. We're good, Mira. See? Uh-oh. No. Everything's fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock, you feel a tug on your stomach. And... You die. That's our first death. That had to be scripted. Obviously scripted death. Let's start again. Loop. One. Ain't no way. Huh? 
Frin, Sifrin, Sifrin, good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you can sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow, so we can finally face against the king. Huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Huh? Huh? Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think? You must have. You were in the house and then a big rock fell and now you're in the meadow, back in dormant. And what Mirabel just said to you, waking up, that was very familiar. But ah, the trap. The trap. You idiot, you stupid fool. It's your job to take care of traps and you got taken out immediately. You didn't even see a glimpse of the king. And it's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead to take care of traps. You couldn't even do your job and now you're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died. You died. You felt your body being crushed and now you're laying on the grass alive. And your skin itches and your stomach hurts and you died. You put your hands over your mouth and, and scream. Stars. You're so stupid and useless and dumb. Okay. You're over it now. Just had to let a little bit out. You take a deep breath in and out. Phew. You put your shaking hands behind your back, pressing them hard between you and the grass. Okay. You died. That's one thing. And now you're alive. Not a crip. That's another thing. And it's apparently the day before, back when Mirabelle woke you up from your nap. That's the third thing. You went. Back in time. Okay, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal. Oh well, at least you were in the lead as always. Judging by where you were when you died, you were probably the only one who got hit. The only one that... In a way, you're really glad you're forced to take the lead every time now. You and everyone else get somewhere dangerous. But... You're back. Back to the day before you went to the house. How? And why? And can you make sure not to die this time? Back to work, Sifrin. You have a country to save. You got a memory of looping. You'll always remember this. Memories are a type of item you can equip. Each memory is specific to one character and gives them special abilities. For example, the memory you just got can only be equipped by you. When memory of looping is equipped, it'll boost your max HP by plus five per loop. You can equip memories by opening your menu and going to the equip section. What is that voice you've been hearing this whole time? Aware. Okay, back at the start. Oh, save point. That's the same light you saw inside the house. You reach towards the light. You close your eyes. There we go. Okay. I think this might be the end of Act 1. I'm gonna look it up real quick.
Yeah, that was the end of Act 1. Okay, so I guess Act 1 is like tutorial. I'm just skimming through the Act 1. What you call it? Yeah, okay. Because this walkthrough doesn't have, like, Act 2 explicitly lined out. And I guess in the game it doesn't, like, give you a title card for the acts. Okay. So, I'll keep streaming today. I did say I'll stream till 2. We'll see how far we get through this. I thought it would be longer, honestly. Okay. Because I have to think about how we'll split down the playthrough of this game. Because with Amori, similar thing, there was no set chapters. I think in Amori it was like every day. Okay. So that was Act 1 of In Stars in Time. Kind of like tutorial, I guess. But it was still really quirky, really charming. It definitely adds a lot like doing the voices. Not gonna lie, it's my favorite part. So we'll continue this next time. If you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You can watch me play games live over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17. Okay, now we can go back. Editor, cut to here. So, okay. Reset. Pretend this is like a different video. <laughs> okay. Today, I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of In the Stars, starting off in Act 2. The last time, unfortunately, spoilers, I died. But we get to go back. And hopefully not replay the whole game. We'll see. I assume my memory is still the same, but everybody else probably forgets what they did. But what we did learn is that whenever you die, you do gain an additional 5 HP. So maybe I just keep dying and dying. That way I become a major tank. But let's continue on. Yep, yeah, back in the town. Sifrin, you're up. Oops, you don't know how to act right now. You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same. Figure something out, quick. Quick! Hey, uh, hey again, Mira. Still half asleep, huh? How was your nap? Okay, takes two. Say something. Make normal words come out of your mouth. Smart and normal words go. Uh, yes, correct. I was taking nap time. I think Sifrin's glitching, y'all. I know that. I was there. Oh, stars. Oh, wait! I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we can make it special somehow. So, I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room? Maybe tell stories? It would be nice, wouldn't it? Suddenly, you remember where this conversation is heading. This is the moment in the conversation where we made Marabella set. Can you change it? Can you change fate? Only one way to find out. Something like... That sounds like an amazing idea, Mira. Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad you think so. I was thinking it was a little silly, but if you think it could be fun, then great! Ah, I can't wait! This will be so delightful! I'm smiling just thinking about it! Mission complete. So you can change things. This was a small change, but if your fate isn't set in stone, then... So, could you let everyone know? I would really appreciate it. Sure. Okay, let me think. Madam Odell should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields, but to the east. And Isabeau to the... And Isabeau to the favor tree to the west. We're staying at the clock tower at the east of the town, right past the broken bench. So you can tell everyone to meet up there later. That was a lot of names and places. Will you remember? You think so, yes. I always remember things. Well... Unrelated to your memory... Here's a note with everyone's location, just in case. You forget! You got the reminder note. You put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Okay. C. 
See you at the clock tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the change god statue too. For good luck. He waved goodbye. Okay. That was slightly different from what you remembered, but still. So it seems you really are repeating the same day. With small differences. And Maribel doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one repeating today? What should you do? So. You should come to the favorite tree when you have a second, Stardust. It's God. What? Should I do the peace and bot? Voice for the- <laughs> For the godly figure? <laughs> Also, guys, we are two and a half hours in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, to click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So, guys, follow right now. We've already gotten one follower. Can we hit our daily goal of five? Can we do it? Also, it's 11.37. Make a late 11.11 wish. Do it. Enjoy this game so far. I can definitely see how the time looping will get annoying in the future. But it's okay. It's just like playing a dating sim. You're playing it over and over to see every single exhausted dialogue. I just hope we don't have to click through all the dialogue again. What I did notice is that in the dialogue there was an option to speed through it quicker. Just like dating sims. We're gonna do what the godly voice said and go to the favorite tree. Oh yeah, it didn't stop me right away. The favorite tree. You should talk to Isabel first. Fine. Isabel is here, probably pondering what favorite asked the tree. Hey, uh, Asa. Hey, uh, Sif. Are you still half asleep? You should stop taking forever naps, Sif. Naps give you cotton brain. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't that tree cool? Oh, wait, you remember this? Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's pretty... Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards his shoulder, but stops and brings it down to his side. No, he did it again! Come on, just make the move! Didn't he do this before? Grab his hand, grab his hand, do it, do it! What a weird gesture. Wait, are we an alien? Is that why we can't relate to, like, Human things, we're respawning. Wait, are we an alien? Game theory. Ha! Huh. That was funny. Anyway, the tree feels weird somehow, or maybe it's just me? What? The tree feels weird. Yeah, like it feels weird. But not mean! Like if a lion came towards you and offered you some candy, but that that, that would be weird, right? That kind of weird. What? Did you say that last time? No. We're, we're not blowing our cover as an alien. Sure. Ah, you always get me, Sif. The tree feels weird. Maybe you should go take a look at it. Um. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? You don't need to talk to your allies about things you've already talked about, but the option is still here in case you need a refresher. Oh, this is new. So I guess I should only read the white dialogue instead of the grayed out dialogue options. Anything weird happened lately? Yeah, the tree! I told you something feels off. But I have other things to worry about, so who cares? Okay. I'll be going now. I'll see you at the clock tower later. 
Nisubo said the tree felt weird. He decided to take a look at the tree. The favor tree. Isabeau said the tree felt weird. You heard someone telling you to come here, didn't you? What was that voice? He walked towards the tree. The tree is so big. Everything under it is dark as night. But... You feel like someone is here. Sitting at the foot of the tree. Looking at you. Cautiously, with a hand on your dagger, you walk towards the base of the tree. Well, uh, you found something, all right. Uh, hello, stranger. Hello. Okay, what a voice. I kind of want to give it like an angelic, ethereal. Should I do peace and bot? <laughs> Hello, stranger. <laughs> He's kicking his feet. <laughs> a star. Why, struck speechless at the sight of me, aren't you? You're so cute, Stardust. Stardust? Um... Ah, Sifrin, look at you. All lost and confused? Huh? Uh, wait. How do you know my... Why wouldn't I know? You're Sif. Sifrin. No middle names, no last name. Just Sifrin. I shouldn't wonder why you look like this, though. It makes sense that you'd feel overwhelmed. Considering this is your first loop and all. Huh? How do you... Ah, huh. of course I know, Stardust. I know about you. I know about your party. About the loops. About that funny silver coin you carry. All right, that's it. Can you stop talking, please? Oh, stars. No need to yell. Let's take a deep breath in and out, okay? Breathe with me. Let's go. In. Your head hurts and your hands are shaking and your heart is beating like it's about to explode. So you probably should. Slowly. Following the ast astral? Never seen that word. Slowly, following the astral being, you breathe in, and out. Phew. All right. Who I am, right? Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go with... Loop. You... <coughs> I'm sorry. The, the beast mode voice is so hard. Because I have to... Every single word, I'm like... Going like this, kind of like gasping out air to give it the hello, like the kind of wispy sound. <laughs> I just have, I have to be careful not to breathe in as I'm talking when I'm speaking, doing the peace bomb voice. Okay, we're good. Loop, your ally, Loop, here to help you with the loops. Easy to remember, right? And for pronouns, you may address me with the royal we. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Then use they, them for me. I'm sure you'll think about me all the time. So you might as well know what pronouns to use. They're woke. Even the stars are woke. Yeah, better know this one's pronouns so that... Yeah, better know this one's pronouns so you can think very clearly in your head that they're getting on your nerves. Your turn, you guess. I use... He, they. I know. It's in your profile. I can read, you know. My what now? 
Anyway, Stardust, I am here to help. Ask whatever questions your little heart desires. Yep, full-blown headache now. Ah. Questions. Questions. You said I was, uh, looping? Oh, getting right into it. I like it, Stardust. Are you sitting down? You better sit down. You're gonna get a lot of info at once. You sit down. <laughs> so, you're stuck in a time loop. Fun, right? Which means that every time you die, you'll loop back, and you'll get to try it all over again. No matter how horribly or stupidly you die, like, let's say, crushed by a giant rock, you will always come back. They saw that? Uh, did you see? Of course I saw, Stardust. How can I help you if I don't know what you're doing? Also, you've probably noticed a lot of things got reset, right? Your party members are saying the same things. All the items you got while you were in the house disappeared. Yeah, you noticed your pockets got emptier. No! Because I didn't pick up anything, right? Stardust, you smart cookie, you got it. So you'll have to pick them up again. If you want. Which you probably should, since you got a long road ahead of you. So what about... I have to pick up keys again, too. Yep, every time. Well, until you learn. Huh? Learn what? Anyway, this is a lot of information. But don't worry, you'll pick things up as you go along. Oh, but your weapons and equipment won't be reset, though. So that's good news. Isn't it nice to get... Isn't it nice that you get to keep your cool, powerful equipment? Especially since you, Stardust, will keep whatever experience you have, but the rest of your party won't. Compensate by having powerful weapons equipped. Your friends won't go... Your friends won't grow and get experience like you? You guess it makes sense since they won't remember whatever enemies you face. Speaking of your party, you can tell them about the loops if you want. They might be able to help. And nothing is keeping you from telling them, so... Uh... Why? Why would I tell them? Why wouldn't you? Don't you need help? Um... You've just learned that you can start again as many times as you want and fix your mistakes. Why would you need help? You're the one in position to help your friends here. I don't really need their help. Right. Because you got me. Not what you meant. Questions, questions. What should I do now? Huh. Let's see. Have you tried not dying? I don't know. Just an idea. Just go back to the house and try again. And maybe die again. Guess we'll see. Remember, no death is wasted. Thanks. That was useless. Questions, questions. Any advice? Advice? Yes. I have advice. Don't eat pineapples. You're allergic. Noted. Am I? You really are. Don't try it. Ah, you look so steamed. Okay. Real advice. Real advice. While you were talking to your party, didn't you see a weird symbol appear? Two little triangles, maybe? It might happen with some conversations you've heard before. If you see it, you can zone out by pressing the Y button. It makes you stop listening and make conversations go faster. No point in staying aware for conversations you've already experienced, huh? Let's try it with the next text box so you know how it works. I'm talking now. Press Y whenever. Yeah. You're doing it. So proud of you. Yeah, that's it. You did it. 
I'll take some time for you. Oh. <clears throat> you did it. It'll take some time for you to get used to it, but it'll save you time for sure. You might miss when your party is saying, but who cares, right? If you make them mad, you can always loop back, and they'll have forgotten all about it. If you want me to say it another way, if you see the double triangle icon during a conversation, press Y to fast forward through it. Ow. You don't know how they did that, but their voice resonated through your head. You've heard that voice before, yesterday. Well, in another version of today, really? So they were the voice you've been hearing, giving you advice. See? I'm useful. I'm very useful. That's why I'm here, helpful loop. That is useful, but... Why are you helping me? Because I think you should be helped. I won't always have the answers, but... I think having someone on your side to talk to is better than dealing with this alone. Right? So real and true. But I never asked for your help. Tough luck, Stardust. I'll still help you out. Alright. That's all I have for you right now. But don't forget to come to me when you feel stuck, okay? I'll be right here under this tree. Don't forget. Bye. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. Loop, huh? They're a little annoying, but if you do find yourself stuck at some point or need someone to talk to, they might be able to help. Wait, I can't make a wish now. I'll never see Bo make clothes. So I guess I should only talk to people who gave me items. I got the drawing, and then I got a pansy. Hey, um, Odile? Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Okay, nothing new. Okay. I'll see you at the clock tower later, then. How'd she know to be at the clock tower? Hey, you! Okay, so I don't think I have to do this tutorial again, but I'll look through the other dialogue options. Any advice? Hmm, I may have advice for you. What do you need? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure that out later. Why fight? Because it's in our fate to fight. Makes sense. Why rock, paper, scissors? Um, because it's the basis for everything? The basis of creation of craft? Um, it seems like I really must teach you everything. Let us see each other again. In the arena! Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Okay, I know where everything is. Nothing new there. The amazing artist is here. It's Mirabelle. It's me!
You got the friendship doodle. No, d no new dialogue there. But I still want to get it. You put the flower in your souvenir pocket. You got the flower again. You could give it to someone else this time. Yo! Already missed out on Bo, though. Bonnie? Hey, friend. What do you want? Okay, nothing new here. Are you trying to find color for this world? I don't know. I don't think there's any, like, lore between the black and the whiteness. It could be just the style. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. Man, I'm speed running. I got the drawing and the flower. We're gonna go sleep with... Wait, who am I gonna sleep with? I didn't decide. Yo. Sifrin! Stardust. As you're about to take another samosa to munch on, you hear Loop's voice and try not to jump. Huh. Sorry. Sorry. So... Here again, huh? Don't worry. You'll get the zone out during this entire event if you want. But there is something. You're able to zone through most conversation you've seen at least once. Yes. But some of them might be slightly different. Oh. Don't stress about it. Don't worry. If it was really important, you'd stop zoning out immediately. But remember that just because you can zone out, doesn't mean the events will be exactly the same. So, to zone out and miss some small things or to listen to it all again. What a dilemma. That's all. Bye, Stardust. Hmm. You go back to your samosa. Wait. I can riz bow again. I'm gonna try. We're gonna get to the bed scene. Because I think if you press Y to fast forward, it skips it entirely, so I'm just gonna hold B. Oh wait, I missed it. I'm just not very hungry. Well, this is different. Oh, uh, I may have eaten some bread earlier. Sifrin! How could you do this to bore Boniface? Look at them! They're pounding so hard they're about to explode. I exploded. Sifrin was destroyed on impact. A beautiful explosion. Sifrin, you died because of your hubris. How regrettable. Was it just me that died? Yes. You were the only casualty. That's fine, then. You still dramatically fall over for good measure. No. How could this happen? <laughs> What's a hubris? I don't know. Let's go to bed. Yo! Where am I sleeping?
Okay, we are we are still sleeping with Bo. Let's see if I can say anything different. Again with this? You didn't get to the king, so you don't know what he wants to tell you. You nod. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke up to tell you. <laughs> um, okay. So, the thing I have to tell you is that it's time for an ad break. Because, guys, we are three hours in the stream. Look at that bait. <laughs> I waited to get to the bow scene. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link yours on Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. I need to know. Um, Give me your Prime sub. You said you would. Get boomed. Get back to it. The thing I have to tell you is... That I I don't have anything to tell you right now, but I will when um when we beat the king tomorrow. Okay. That it's still so ominous is a it, it's not meant to be. I uh, I just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you, and we wouldn't want that, right? So um. I'll tell you when we beat the king. Okay? You haven't gotten to the king yet, so you still don't know what he wants to say. You're so curious. But the only thing you can say is... Just keep prodding and prodding. <laughs> I left for a while and you already got laid? No, this is... <laughs> We're platonically sleeping in the same bed, guys! Calm down! <laughs> Plus, I think Sifrin is he, they. I don't think biologically they can make it happen. <laughs> okay. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Okay. Oh, it doesn't skip all of it. It only skips part of it. Okay, that's fine. You think about how far you still have to go before beating the king. You fall asleep. Back here. Smile and nod, smile and nod. <laughs> oh, up ahead, that's... The same sadness as before. A sadness, huh? The house must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, um... Okay, now we can skip. Last time, she felt better talking about strategy. We could do that again, or you could, you know, save time. Hmm. Let's just defeat it. She'll be fine anyway, won't she? Uh, okay. You'll be okay, Mira. Uh, yes. Let's go, everyone. Okay, I assume I'm gonna die multiple times, and we're gonna have to do this every time. I'm not gonna be nice to Mira every single time. She needs to man up. <laughs> Monster time. Oh, so that means you're probably gonna do all the battles and stuff again, too. Okay, this guy is scissors.
giving my turn to Isabeau. Yup. I'll just do base attack here. Oh, I... I ran out of attack power there. Let's skip my turn. Rock attack? Continue on. So if we keep all the XP as we go through, it's probably advantageous for me to mark every single enemy. Okay, this one is rock, so we need paper. No! Not boo! Oh, turn it up only cost one turn. That's not too bad. Whoa! Oh my god. I got sneeze. Paper damage. Easy. 200 HP? Yo! Okay, they were double teaming me. I don't appreciate that. is weak to paper. We're gonna give her a turn away. To Sifrin. So I, I assume Sifrin gains more XP whenever you actually battle with Sifrin in the fight more. Yeah, 400 XP. Because Sifrin did two turns. So I guess I should just make Sifrin battle more. I can make a save point there. I should still get all the items before I progress again. A storage room. Let's look around. I see a few tonics on the table. Ugh, items to pick up again. Do we really need items? Oh, I'm surprised to hear this from you, since you just love to pick up random things. Of course we need these items. Tonics, juices? These items will keep our health up and are integral to our survival. We can't always count on Mirabel to heal us. Don't hesitate to use tonics or items in battle if you get overwhelmed. This seems important. You decide to remember those words. It's It'd be bad to be beaten in battle because you forgot about the items you carry. You got a memory of tonics. You'll always remember this. When memory of tonics is equipped, any tonic the researcher uses will recover more HP. Oh, okay, let's see.
Okay, memory of self. It's a memory of you. You have theoretically somebody to choose from. Plus five to all stats. Or memory of looping. Plus five max HP for a loop. Oh, okay. I see. Is HP really that important though? Because I start off with 500. It could be better to just do the memory of self. Because then all of my stats go up. I'll do that. Because 5 HP ain't much. Some flyers. They say House of Change open. Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. <laughs> I drew those a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice. I can definitely see how grabbing everything can get annoying. I just hope this game isn't too long. Your friend's craft skills and experience have been recorded for this location. We continue on. Key time. Now surely I just won't die. Oh wait, that's the room you died in because you didn't check for traps. There must be a switch or something somewhere that can stop the trap from activating. You didn't feel it last time, but you can feel something different in this room. Wait, ain't no way. This one's sparkling. It was not like that before. This is a normal pillar, but... Carefully look at the pillar. Oh, stars. Hidden unless you're looking at it at the right angle. You can see a switch hidden between the rocks. Stupid, stupid. Oh, wait! Sifrin, I just remembered this room, it's... You press the switch. <laughs> Monka. Oh! Whoa. Okay, the rock fell. And not on your head. Woohoo. So you can change things. You can fix things. You can keep going. You're feeling a lot more confident about this killing a monarch business. You give a thumbs up. Huh. Trap taken care of. I suppose it is. That was scary! Oh, before you forget, you should ask. Any more death corridors, Mira? Death corridor? Um, no. That's the only one. I promise. This hallway had a trap which Stiffen just activated. But I don't think there's any other ones in the house. Good to know. Let's get going then. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. Okay, the only battle if they touch me, Sifrin. We got a scissors. Okay, so I have to heal. I don't automatically get healed in battle. Makes sense.
I'll give my turn to Isabeau. Yes, sir. Okay, Mirabel does not have the give turn away, so I guess I just have to attack. Bonnie missed. Good one, Bonnie. XP received. I'm gonna go back and heal. If I can go back. Because when you save, you get a free heal. Yes, sir. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, they respawn. Hmm. I guess I should not leave the room. the goat. Easy! I'm kind of hesitant to use the healing items because I don't know how many more I'll be able to pick up. multiple for once. The sadness has got all mixed up. They're one of every type. Deal sieves are damaged to all enemies. Might lower enemies attack for three turns. Or just in general. I'll do this because it's multiple enemies. Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> Boost attack, paper damage. Heal one friend for 80% of their HP. Uh, people should be able to tank, right? Surely, surely. Get a Mirabel. Easy. Isabeau. Rock damage. Give your turn away. Boost friend's defense. Rock damage. Defense could be good if this were a longer fight. Which it could be. I'm gonna boost my friend's defense. Make enemies tired and slower for a few turns. Ooh, that's a great perk. 
But still, I'll just normal attack here. Because Odell is pretty strong on their own. Uh oh. Saved. I'll do turn it up. To Isabeau. Because I need to give her the scissor guy because they're the closest, or they, they are the highest health. God damn! Body missed. Classic. I think Mirabelle has a paper move? Yes, they do. This is just like Pokemon. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. This is nice because there's only three types you have to remember. It's kind of like the fire, water, grass. It's not too complicated. I like that a lot, actually. You know what I would say? Rat is rat. Wait, I'm scared. I'm going to the left first. Or you know what? Let's stop. They respawn. Anytime you leave the room. Okay. Oh my god, they're still following me! The gate is locked. Well, this one I expected would be locked. Well, where does it bring us? Farther into the house? Yes. This is the only way to the second floor. Then what if the king would make sure we, we couldn't get in? I'm telling you, the king is scared of us! Maybe he is. But in the meantime, we should find a way to open this door. We look at the gate a little bit closer. Hmm. The keyhole is shaped like an egg, broken in half. Okay, noted. Anytime I leave a room at all, the enemies respawn. And the enemies only attack whenever they touch Sifron. I think I got it. So we basically just have to level and- Oh, everybody's low health. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Awkward. Revive 50% HP. I should do this to Isabeau. And then hopefully Mirabelle can heal themselves? They can. Okay, thank goodness. We should be fine now. Rock against rock. That means we need paper. I think I need to get some damage done. Let's do a smash. Because Isabel is pretty strong on their own. I just need to get some hits on him. <gasps> oh, oh no! Bonnie runs in a circle. What did that even do? Did it make us faster? Oh, it did make us faster. Okay. Surely Sifron won't die, right? Okay, Sifron? You're just gonna kill him in one shot, right? Yeah! Easy! You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. No, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Hmm. 
Healing Sifrin before the next fight. Caught. We have a rock, paper, and scissors. Two cleaver by half to hit everybody. God damn. Say two seven Cifrin. Heal one for eighty percent of their HP. Boost all friends. Wait, does she not revive? I thought she did. Well. Paper damage to everybody. God damn! Bow is strong. A little sliver on the paper! You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. Okay, so I still level up when I die. Sifrin is dead. hard. You can't buy items yet, I don't think. Because I didn't have any money when I was in town. A forgery. Some vials. Let's see. You got one crafted water. Hmm. A big steel thing with a stone in it and an oven for weapons. Those things have a name, but you can't remember what it is. It's a forge and that's an anvil, Sifrin. And the stone is a sharpening stone. Oh, yeah. An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. Oh, look! On the wall, there's a sword! The sword looks rapier-like. You want to take it, Mira? Um, taking things that don't belong to you is bad. But yes, I would like the sword. You got over that quickly. You got the needle sword. You give the needle sword to Mirabelle to equip later. You found a weapon. Weapons and armors can be equipped by going through the menu and then to equip. The specific weapon is for your little house maiden. Don't forget to equip it. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. So the rapier increased the attack by two, lowered the defense. I guess that's fine. And it seems like everybody has the memory equipped. So I think I'm gonna swap out my memory of self to just memory of looping again. Just to increase my base HP. A rose spears. Why the need for an armory and weapons in the first place? Does the house often get attacked? Oh, not at all. Well, you know, except for right now. This is just one of the many classes the house gives. It's very popular with young adults. In a few weeks, you can learn how to make your very own weapon. It's not only in Dormont. 
Jovet's house gives smithing classes too. Most people with the weapon on their wall look cool. It does not look cool. My sister took a class like this. She made a massive hammer and tried to hang it on the wall in her room. And? Hammer too heavy. Wall broke. We had to share my room for weeks. How awful. You know what else is awful? Watching the stream and, and not following his guys. We are another 30 minutes in, so if you're new here, click follow, you get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Do it now. A stool. But there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. Real. Caught. We got a paper. Deal scissor damage to one enemy might lower enemy's defense. I'll do it. I need to focus on more status moves. I think I'll just do a normal attack. Oh, no. I think I should heal anytime Mirabelle's in battle. Because I don't have any heal items right now. Rock is weak to paper? I'm gonna give my turn away. Paper should take it out. Yes, sir. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. So I think I should focus on exploring and then getting enemies. The door is locked. The symbol over the keyhole is shaped like an egg. Okay, we need an egg key and then a cracked egg key. This guy's new. Wait, I'm scared. Scissor and rock. Oh, it's two parts. Okay. I'm trying to see if this guy's considered- Oh, he is considered multiple enemies. Okay, I'm gonna do scissor damage to both. Just get like base health down. No! No! Not my healer. Kaboom. Yeah, the type advantage only did 30 more damage. And then all of Odile's attacks only target one individual. Let's get the rock. Come on, Bonnie, do something good. Awkward.
Okay, I cannot give a turn to a knocked out enemy. Makes sense. I'm gonna give my turn to Bo, because Bo could hit both enemies. Oh, not anymore. I forgot I had to wait two turns. You feel weaker. No, defense down! I should use the revive item. I just realized. 450 XP received. Yeah, Maribel's back to two. Forty percent of everyone's HP. Nah, we'll just have to wait till Mirabel's in battle again and have somebody heal. Dang it. Or I should probably save, I think. Oh my god, they're going so fast. if you just never die again i'm gonna try for that run this is gonna be a single death run i'm dipping i'm do not dodging <laughs> not this guy again speed this time. See what happens. And boost everybody's attack. I think whenever the enemy... Whenever the enemy's attack gauge is low, I need to work on doing the status moves first. Boost friend's defense. Yeah, I think I need to start doing that strat. Because then that way, by the end of the battle, we'll have cycled enough turns to where they can do it for the next encounter. Turn back to Odile and take out the rock. Yes, sir. Because the zero, the scissors doesn't attack; it only powers up. Oh my God! Bonnie got hidden. heal bow because I don't have any heals left I mean I have like one but not a lot and bow you're gonna go crazy 
Thank you. Yes, sir! You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Another one of these bozos. Oop. I want to give my turn to Odile first, that way we do some damage on the rock section. Mirabelle needs to heal herself. We can't have Mirabelle die again. And then raise defense? Because it's probably gonna be a few more turns. Oop. Ooh, thank you, Bonnie. Okay, so I guess Bonnie is just a random perk. It's your time to shine. <clears throat> you breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Yes, sir. We got a scissor enemy. No, not the paper. <laughs> okay, so I guess the the crafts reset every enemy. So like even if it's only been two turns and the third turn would have been with the next enemy, it still resets. I think since I'm kind of struggling, because I don't have heals, I need to give my turns to Mirabelle. That way Mirabelle can heal. And Bo coming in clutch? Breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Another heal room, thank you! Two salty broads. Hello, hello, Stardust. Got your hand on some salty broths, didn't you? Drinking one in battle will lower all of someone's craft cooldowns by six, so they're very useful. Use them wisely. 
Bye, Stardust. Have fun. Don't get crushed by rocks. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Some books. One of them has a very striking cover of a voodoo clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. Spooky. That does sound spooky. Some vials. Let's see. You got one crafted water. It's a figurine of the change god. It's been destroyed. Some cutlery and kitchen utensils. Is it... cutlery? Yeah, dummy. Why do you have to ask? No, no, I'm, I'm asking Madame Audelac. Is it cutlery or studying? Cutterology? <laughs> this is it, right? Did I get it? Wrong again, mister. I swear. Your guesses are getting more and more eccentric. Who makes the research all of a cutlery of all things? Some people, I'm sure. Not me. Hmm. Oh well. I'll figure it out one day. Sure you will. You're also curious, but neither is a bow, no. You're also curious, but neither is a bow or you managed to find out what she's studying yet. The cupboard is full of various board games. A craft game for kids, a fishy game, checkers. Checkers! We should play... We should play Team Checkers again. And I'll kick your butt. Hmm. I think I'll pass. The last time we played, Sifrin cheated the whole time and you didn't even notice. My obliviousness makes me a wonderful teammate. <laughs> so real and true. Oh. There is something over there. Goop. Ah, uh, yeah. Some weird water. I've heard about it from people in Dormont. They call them tears. If you touch one, you'll be frozen in time. Uh, that's what they told me. There were a few outside the village, too. Tears, huh? There might be a lot of these around the house. You know that dying of natural causes will bring you back. What about being frozen in time? Is it different? Will it stop you from looping back? Touch it? No! I'm not touching it! I'm not touching it! I'm not touching it! Yeah, that's scary. You should just go ahead and move on. Okay, we get it! Let's stop looking at it! Can we go already? <gasps> uh. Oh. Sif! No! That's so rude! Stupid Bonnie! A tear froze you in time. Start again. I cannot believe Bonnie, this dumbass bitch! You see something appear before you. This is... Dormont? And the house. Can you decide where to loop back? That is so nice. Thank god I don't gotta do the dialogue again. Oh wait, but then do I lose the pansy and the drawing? That would kind of suck. I assume there's gonna be more scripted deaths, so I'm gonna go back to the house. Loop back to floor one? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Loop two. Oh, you're back. For a second you were genuinely worried you weren't going to loop back and stay frozen in time forever. Being frozen in time felt like I was sleeping. So tears freeze you in time. And being frozen in time makes you loop back. Sounds like a pretty painless way to loop back whenever you please. Okay. So if I make a mistake, I can reset quicker. Well, still here.
So I guess I should focus not necessarily on battling right now, but progressing. And you don't really need to save unless you need to, like, heal. Or if you, like... Oh, wait, where's my key? Oh, okay. Imagine I die again. They probably put the boulder room right here, assuming you're just gonna run through. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Not even phased, huh? So cool, Sif. Yeah, it's almost like I lived this twice. They'll never know my trauma. We can get the sword from this room. Caught. Okay, and when we come back, we have full heals. No! No, I healed the wrong person! God damn it. Top 10 fails in 2024. Oh my god. Oh, Dial. Or is it Autolai? Why am I saying Oh, Dial? It's probably Autolai. <laughs> Whatever, it's too late now. Too late. Why can't they just have normal names? Whoa, you stumble. There was something there, you remember. Did this happen because whatever you found here before is already in your possession? Oh yeah, the weapons they equipped. You feel dizzy. I forgot. I don't gotta go back for the sword. Caught. Oh, there was also a bottle in that room. Oh, yes, locked. <laughs> Me all of your day. Oh, I bet if you use the default run animation, you can dodge enemies a bit quicker. I don't care about that. That's fine. Okay, Bonnie, better not push me to the goddamn tears this time. Oh! Caught!
is so cool. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. I want to check my inventory. I do not think I have the flowers still. Oh, wait, I do! That's huge. So I still have the items that I picked up in the city. That's really nice. Okay, okay. So I don't have to go back. Huge! You know what else is huge? Subscribing. Because, guys, we are four hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. So I think I'll play until I get to floor two. And then, editor, you'll just cut the date in between out. Because, like, I don't want to start floor two today and then, like, only get halfway through. I'm liking this a lot so far. It's a lot more straightforward than Omori was. I felt so lost playing Omori. I still want to go back and play it again. Um, when I become a 1K Andy, we'll play it again on stream. For nostalgia and the good old days. Yeah, that closet was empty besides games. The tear stands in the way. Okay, you learned you're smart now. Ignore everyone's confused, look at the tear, and keep walking. Caught. <laughs> One of every type. Everybody? Damn, Oda looks pumped up. It's that adrenaline kicking in, huh? I didn't realize they different face like stills whenever they had low health. This fight could go on a while, so we're gonna raise everybody's defenses. say the enemies are so silly for attacking types that are resistant but they can't s I'm not doing hand symbols they don't know you know we just got the leg up come on Bonnie do something good Classic.
Yeah, I still can't heal. Easy. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. Okay, I'm deaf. Gonna heal. And we're not gonna touch the tears. The door is locked tight. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. You look at it curiously. Isabel sees you look. Have you never seen a lock like this before, Sif? It's a special kind of our guardian lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words? Yes, you just need to say the words aloud. I think they call it a... an open phrase? An open phrase. Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? I... do not know. Huh. So it's locked. Yes? Yahoo. What's this room, though? I think it may be a storage room? I haven't saw Dormont's shop paper go there. He might know the open phrase for it. If we... had remembered to ask... Oh. Well, too late now, right? Hmm. The shop keep? Dude, I didn't even talk to him. That means we have to leave and come back? That's annoying. I hate RPGs. Making me walk back and forth, back and forth, getting my steps in. Annoying. It's a rock, so I'm weak. Oh, that was so cool. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. More tears. A pillar. Ah, he got me! I thought I could juke him. Dang, Bonnie got in here finally. I don't think increasing my speed does that much, honestly. But it's, I think, the only good move Sifron has right now. Almost there.
Go boom. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 450 XP received. You know, I'll say Isabeau is my favorite. Uh oh. A sadness? Ah, uh, poor buddy lost his friends. Whoa, this one feels weird. Boniface, it may look different, but it's still a sadness like all the ones we've seen before. Still feels weird. I believe the preteen when it comes to the sadness is weirdness, madame. Let's get the weird sadness then. Oh, okay. Coming out swinging. Nostalgia attacks. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awkward. They don't have a type either. Boost all friends' attacks. Let's do this first. And then one turn we'll have to revive Sifrin. Raise defense. Make enemies tired and slower. Okay, so they resisted that, so that means that was a scissor attack. That means rock is strong. I'm going to revive first. Back in it. And do smash, because I assume it's powerful. It resists? Oh no. My theory was incorrect. Okay, it resists rock. Let's see how it does it against paper. Paper's neutral, but it doesn't resist. So is it scissor then? Main lower defense. Okay, so it is weak to scissor. A crit only. Give my turn to Mirabelle so Mirabelle can heal. Weak to scissors? Oh, the stacked icons bottom right, they swap out, so it's your five most recent attacks. Okay, watch this. We're gonna get a combo. Oh, it's over. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. Sifrin is now level 46. Isabeau is now level 46 and learned the craft skill so weak. Odile is now level 46. Nice! Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. You got the memory of so weak. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use so weak as a skill, even if he isn't at level 46. So weak is a skill that lowers one enemy's attack. The sadness left something behind when it dissolved. You got the star crust. It has a teardrop engraved on it. You put the star crest in your pocket. A crest. Feels weird, too. 
Like the tier we passed by earlier. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it'll be useful later? Could you use this on the tiers blocking your way? Okay, where is it, though? It's not here. What? Or maybe it's under equip? No, it's not. Or maybe that's just like a forever held item. I guess, maybe, Bo will auto-learn the skill? Because I don't have to equip it. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. I still do not want to touch a tear. Caught. The game lags every time I get touched by an enemy. It's not me. To it. Okay, I thought you could only have four skills at once. Nice. Now I know. Smash. Yo, Bonnie! You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. I am definitely looking around me and I'm admiring the view and said so. <laughs> I was trying to do it fast on purpose. I am definitely not looking around me. And I'm admiring the view instead. So tell me if I'm about to run into something dangerous. Whoa. Whoa. You keep Isabel from running into the life-ending tears. Huh? Huh? Oh, whoa. What? Oh, what is it? Is it the water? Should I not touch the weird floating water? The same water as before. Oh, wait. I've heard about those. The villagers in Dormant call them tears, and if you touch them, you get frozen in time! Oh, right. They haven't talked about it before. Wait, so... I almost died. Maybe you should pay more attention, distracted one. I'm keeping my eyes open for all threats except the ones in front of me. We should be more careful. We wouldn't want to touch those. Also, also, I also heard that being frozen makes you go to sleep, and it gives you super good dreams. Oh? Oh! Oh! Oh. Did you hear this from the people in Dormont, too? Ah. Uh, um. Um. A nice lady told me that when she heard my sister got frozen. Oh. 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 I- I know it's not true! I'm not stupid. Just, it would be nice if that was true. So, so you should touch the weird frozen water and be frozen and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Pass. 
Well, we might still might need to go this way, so we should look around and find if there's a way to make those disappear. You do have the crust, though. Okay, surely this will work. The tear floats gently. Okay, this might be stupid, but... What if you use the star crust you just got on those tears and see if it does something? There is a teardrop engraved on that star crust after all. And if it doesn't work, well, yeah, you'll look stupid. But you can always loop back and not look stupid. Use the star crest. Free path time. Sure. You use the star crest. Yo, it actually worked. We didn't get baited. It worked! Bye bye, tears! Phew. Okay, so if you would have gone forward and not gone to the room, you would have died. A flyer for the Dormont Ballangerie. Dormont? Mianani Ballangerie. Bread 20% off every Saturday. Because we love you almost as much as you love our bread. Hmm. Ah. Bad. <laughs> hey, Sif. You look at Isabel. Considering how much bread we bought from them for dinner yesterday. <laughs> let's go. Loving us is the yeast they could do. No. No! Not allowed. <laughs> yes. Teamwork. Yay. Oh, we're definitely fucking... Bo. <laughs> Ow. You hit your hip into the counter and made an embarrassing sound. Oh. Sifrin. Did you really hit the counter and say, I'm not saying that? You did. No. Okay. Madame! Oh, saved. Okay, I thought something was gonna pop up. Some vials. Let's see. We got one super sour tonic. A pot filled with bubbling food. Frozen in time. Oh, that's why it's black and white, because we're frozen. The steam is frozen in midair. So, what's inside? Uh, looks like they were cooking crab. What?! Oh, no! Crab? Oh, what's happening? Someone was cooking crab! In a house of change of all places! Food tasted like crab! But literally! Oh, why would someone do this? I, uh... Oda looks at you with question marks in her eyes. But crab is so tasty. You shrug. I am very confused. Is this a Vagardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs in Kabu. In Kabu. Please don't tell me you eat crabs in Kabu. I don't think I could handle it. No, not really. But we don't have such an aversion to them. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Is it... Is this like dolphins? What about them? In Kabu, we don't like dolphins. Something about them being too smart. Are... Crabs smart? No, they're stupid and don't even walk right. Crabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders. Every human thinks spiders look scary. <laughs> Zaz afraid of spiders! Uh, no, I'm a big strong man. So, crabs are weird and don't walk right. Okay. And... They're... inevitable. Uh-huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. Vagard is weird. I agree. <laughs> no, some people just don't like killing crabs. They've gone woke. Okay, the stove is sparkling. Surely it's not an insta-death. A kitchen closet. No, it's a stove. <laughs> you open it. 
You found the egg key. <gasps> yes, sir. You now know where the egg key is located. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like an egg. Does it mean something? Mm, that's an egg. An egg? Bonnie is making grabby hands. You give Bonnie the key. Ah, so the next key should be a broken egg, right? Are eggs important to the changed beliefs somehow? Yes! An intact egg and a broken egg! We... We're the egg. Getting out of the egg. Change also means destruction, blah blah blah. Well, um... Yes, pretty much. Can't make pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets, Bonbon. Bon. You're an omelet, Za. A terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. And, and, for every change, something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what will be irreparably, irreparably, irreparably. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what will be irreparably destroyed. But destruction is just a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah, it'd be helpful to keep yourself from becoming a person you feel comfortable with just because of what upsets someone else. Ooh. Ooh. All the girlies who've been dating for 10 years and only get an engagement ring a month ago? Ooh. Huh. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie is still looking at the egg keychain. Chomp. Bonnie tried to take a bite of the keychain. Chomp chomp. It's carved out of stone, Boniface. Maybe the keychain has a secret, madame. Uh-huh. Stupid crabbing rock. Bonnie gives you back the key. It's sticky. Now we go to the side room. And I assume the side room will have the cracked egg. I'm dipping, I'm dodging. I dip and I dodge. Cut! Yup, 1100, oh my god. You breathe in and out, 200 XP received. Bo is so cool. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll fight. Fine, whatever. Oh no, fell off. Muck up. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. I think I'm gonna go save, that way I can heal, and then we'll work our way back. Oop. No! <laughs> Thank you. 
You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 46. Dang it. If I don't take any damage here, we can just continue on if we don't need to save. Yes, sir? You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Lucky! Not so lucky! You know if you can get lucky right now and get three emotes? People who follow the channel, because guys, we're another 30 minutes in, so if you're here, click that follow button, you get cool emotes, eh? You get diamond shit, isn't that pretty cool? And before you follow, make sure notifications are turned on, that way don't miss a single stream. Do it now. Mocha. Oh, Saffron's gonna die. Body finally got a kill. Gizzard. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. I'm gonna go heal. Unavoidable. This guy ain't too bad.
Oh my god! Lose everybody to death? Come on, Bo, take him out. Good job. Then and out. 450 XP received. I'm gonna double check to see if I got the tonic here. I did. Caught. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. We're in. Awkward. Being able to change who goes first is kind of crazy. Wait, no long, empty corridor? Surely there's nothing bad approaching. I knew it was gonna hit me. I just didn't want to run away this time. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Another one? A broken pillar. You know what I always say? Right is right. The jackpot. A nice comfy looking bed. Some notes. The handwriting is so terrible you can barely read what's on it. Some rolled up papers. You unroll one. It's a bunch of sketches of landscapes. Some papers. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. Is this where they plan a coup? A closet haphazardly filled with art notebooks and art supplies. And... Oh. There's a crumpled pile of hand-drawn cards. Pick one? Yeah, why not? You pick a card at random. This card is a drawing of a hand holding a piece of wood. The bottom says Ace of Wands. You got the drawn card. You put the card in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Some rolled up papers. You enroll one. Oh my. 
The paper is full of sketches of naked people doing fun things. <laughs> you look at them curiously. Do it in front of your friends? Oh, oh my! Huh, me. Show me, I can't see what it is. Uh, oh no, no. Mirabelle hurriedly covers Bonnie's eyes and makes them take two steps back. But I want to see. No, no, no. It's not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's not for little ones. Boniface? Yep, can't let you do that, Bonbon. Well... Bonnie's looking straight at you. Friend? Can I look? Well... Nah, definitely not. Oh... Oh! So it's really not allowed. Why did it take Sifrin saying it for you to realize? Friend lets me do things when you guys say no sometimes. But if even Friend says it's not allowed, then it must be something really not allowed. So, I won't look. Well, good. Sifrin? What the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? ruh -ro. He let me drink some vodka once. Huh? What? Sifrin? What whoa. whoa. <laughs> I don't really get why Odal likes it, though. It tastes just like boring water. Boring water? <laughs> Dude, this kid. Oh, wait. We probably just gave them water. <laughs> I just got it. Sorry. That sounds like an amazing practical joke to play in a kid, actually. It was. Wait, that's actually so smart. Some tiny paintings. They must have been crafted to move, but they've been frozen in time. A dresser with art books on top of it. He opened the drawer. He found the broken egg key. The key chain dangling from it is shaped like an egg broken in half. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the broken egg key is located. Sounds like keys will be in your future, huh? You should probably try to remember their location just in case. You got a memory of keys. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of keys help you remember where keys are. When looking at a locked door, you'll get a sense of where its key is. If you've already found the key in a previous loop, you'll get directions as to where to go. Pretty useful if you're the forgetting type, huh? In someone's drawer. What a weird place for a key. Definitely not a very king-like place, huh? That's pretty stupid of him. I'm not sure. Hiding keys in places like drawers isn't very king-like, yeah. But it means they're harder to find since it's not a very expected place. But thankfully, we have our good old Sif to help us find it. Thank you, Sifrin. Good job, Sifrin. Yay. Good job. She claps sarcastically, which makes everyone join her enthusiastically. You take a bow. He opened the closet. There's a pair of glasses inside a transparent case. Unlike the case, the glasses are completely opaque. Glasses you can't see out of. Absolutely useless. Are you gonna take them? Hmm. Yes. I'll take them. You got the opaque glasses. You get the opaque glasses to idle to equip later. Ooh, let's see what they are. Boost attack and crit chance but lowers defense. Their attack is already pretty high, not gonna lie. Yeah, Odile's attack is already pretty high, so I don't want to mess with it. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. Some books on the House of Change, and a book from the series The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number 51. A tidy bed. You open the closet. It's filled with wax and candle-making supplies. It smells nice. Some vials. Let's see. You got two sour tonics. Yummy!
A craftonomy book. Oh, is this a craftology book? Piercing craft, great of craft. Where's the protecting craft chap? It's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. This one is about the study of craft, not your fortune. <laughs> Aw, I wanted to know my horoscope today. This place has been frozen for a few months now. I don't think it'd be up to date. <laughs> you really like that sort of stuff, don't you, Isabeau? <laughs> yes, I do. It's absolutely useless and has no basis in reality, but I like it when some letters tell me I'm gonna have a good day. You're a protector craft, aren't you, Isabeau? People who use it are patient, honest, loyal, and very gullible. That sure is me. <laughs> you're very gullible. Bonnie, you're laughing, but... Aren't you also using protector craft? No. Yes, I do seem to remember this being the case, kiddo. No! It's not the same. I'm not gullible. <laughs> you like being able to be near them and not have to contribute to the conversation. Being silent and surrounded by people you like is nice. Wait, I relate to that, guys. I did score 105 on my rads test. A tidy bed. There's bits of wax stuck to the covers. Yummy. Instructions on the how to craft candles. Unlike normal candles, it seems crafted candles last longer and can change smells as times go by. A chair. Some sort of candle making station. I have no idea what this smells like. Apples and cinnamon? Pie smell? Pie smell! Pie smell. I'll say it. Apple cinnamon is not the best pie. I'm sorry. Okay, let's head for the door now. Editor, cut this out. We're pausing for today. <laughs> and we'll pick up next time at the door. Because it's almost two o'clock. You didn't see anything. Oh. <laughs> I tried, I tried. going to be Mirabelle. So I don't want to swap to Mirabelle because I'd be wasting a turn. Monk up. Classic Bonnie. <laughs> Lowering defense is fine, we'll live. Take it out. 
Yezer? You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Unlucky. Oh yeah, I'm scissors. What am I doing? Breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Oh, shoot. I forgot how long and far away it is. So cool. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Fine, that's okay. They're just prolonging the inevitable. Bonnie got a hit. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Finally, the save point. I wanted to save before I go to the door just to make sure everybody has full health. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so that was my first about four hours of gameplay and in stars in time. The first section definitely felt like the opener, setting everything up, giving a little bit of lore. I am really interested to see what this all leads up to. Now I do know that there's three, no, there's four main arcs. Arc one I assume is a story, arc two probably leveling. And I don't know what the other two arcs are, but yeah. So that's what I'm gonna pause for today. I would stream longer, but I have an appointment I gotta go to today.
So, I am planning on streaming the rest of the week. Because like I told you guys, I don't have to travel until October. W. So, we're probably going to stream this game until we beat it. So, probably like multiple hour sessions, like five to six hour sessions for this game until we beat it. That's the plan. I'm going to try and do an act a day. That's the goal. I mean, we, we I think we've gotten through like a third of this or maybe a quarter of this arc. For this act for act two. But yeah. If you liked it, um, subscribe. Okay, so... I am really glad, because I did a poll to choose what game to do next. And I'm glad you guys chose this one. I like it. Okay, we did get a resub today, so we do get to do calligraphy! So if you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Do so now. Do, 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 do. There we go, now there's music for you guys. There it is. And for some reason, the music was hidden. I would squeeze in a game of sap, but I literally gotta go in like 30 minutes. So yeah. Well, let's change the title. While I'm getting the second camera set up, just a reminder. Today's stream- oops. Why is that showing? <laughs> Oopsie. Just a reminder. <laughs> Nothing was leaked, don't worry. Today's stream is presented to you by... By... Peace and Art to Com. Oh my god, dude, lineup prints are available! You can buy the whole set, or if you buy the singles, you have a 10% chance of getting a rare holo! Ain't no way. Guys, and if you're a current Twitch subscriber, you do get an exclusive discount. Holy moly. Okay, let's get this camera plugged in. Do, do, do. Nobody look. No first, no looking. Oh, I turned my mouse off by accident. <laughs> oh my god, there's two of me. There we go. Hi, you, Julie. Wait, did I say type one for something? Wait, what did I say? Hi, <laughs> cutie. Wait, what did I say? I don't even think I said a type one joke. What did I say? Caught with tech problems? No, that's just how I have to change scenes. It's because my my calligraphy camera doesn't have a capture card, so it doesn't automatically connect. Don't be slandering me. I haven't had a tech issue in a piece and stream for a long time. You know, peace and stocks? On the up and up. <laughs> Are you watching on desktop? You're using the emotes. Okay, we had one resubscription today. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. What did you guys think of the game today? I personally, I like it. I like it. I forgot I was watching. You know, I want to bring up drama, and since Keely is in chat, it's fine. We had a business phone call a week ago, or two ago. And she said, I'm a second monitor streamer. She said, I'm still a cozy streamer. What do you guys think about that?
<laughs> I'd take a work meeting and forgot. Caught. I disagree. I think it depends on what I'm streaming. You're fun to watch. <laughs> Did somebody have you like a gut point? <laughs> No, no, no. I think it depends on what the stream is. Because I've been kind of pivoting away from story games for the past few months. And I do feel like a lot of my streams, I get decent, like, chat interaction in. Because the term second moderate streamer refers to, like, somebody you play in the background and someone that you don't, like, actively chat or sit and watch. But, you know, I'll, like, put Ludwig on the second monitor sometimes. I just like his voice. You pick Thank You for Redeeming Kim. Notice how cute he hasn't said shit. She ran away. <laughs> also, guys, we're five hours into stream. I have to run an ad or Twitch will get very mad at me. So, if you don't want an ad right now, subscribe for five ninety nine or for free. Ain't no way. Run the end. Get boomed. Ha <laughs> Look at this page. It's so pretty. It's like Seahawk colors. I've only seen one professional sports game. And it was a baseball game. Back when I was in 8th grade. And I really want to go to another one. I remember I asked a previous partner, it's the same guy, Omega Dance, if he wanted to go see a Mariners game, and he was like, no, I refuse. And I was like, why? And he was like, well, my ex loves the Mariners, so he's like, I'm convinced I'll see her in the, th in the, not the theater, the crowd, arena? And I was like, you're psycho. You, you really think she's gonna pinpoint you in the hundreds of people in the arena? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was so silly. But, like, baseball games are fucking expensive, so. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the eight month resub. Thank you for your continued support of tier one. So close to another sunflower badge in chat. Also, I only have two pages left in this journal. You guys need to stop subscribing until I get a new one. Look. I'm not going to be able to buy a new journal till fuck, end of the month. When I get my- I should get my Twitch payout today or tomorrow, but I gotta pay off my credit card. Ooh. Do you have anybody else who wants the name written? We had somebody redeem. Redeem so now. Also, Kim, since you're in chat, when can you change your username? I'm not asking because I like I want you to change it. I just want to know like if Twitch changed it from six months to three months. I'll do pink. I would only change my username if it took out the underscore and then potentially the 17. But I'm only going to do that whenever I become like a very popular Twitch partner. Because that's what all the partners do. All the partners request that they change their username. And then they retire their old one. I put Kim's old user. I'll check after work. Okay. W. Because, like, I think on TikTok you can only change your name once every week. Like, your username and your profile name. I think on IG you got to wait a few days. But on Twitch, making it a few months is crazy. What are they doing? Okay. Anybody else? You had your chance. <laughs> okay. Wrapping up stream here for today. I'm ending early because I started early and I have an appointment I gotta go to. We're getting my teeth cleaned. Hell yeah. I'm actually really glad that it got pushed through faster. 
so yeah i'm really happy about that but i won't be able to talk for like the next five hours so sad thank you kim i will okay thank you guys for watching any chatter zookers i hope you and enjoyed the in stars and time little brief look we got into it we got a little bit through arc two of four so this will probably take like maybe three or four more streams so basically we'll we'll finish the week with this game that is the plan i'll be live again tomorrow probably probably like 10 i think nine is a bit too early you know everybody's still waking up or like at their lunch break so I'll see you guys then. If you want something to watch, new YouTube video. Click the link to watch it now. It's an edit from the SAP stream. And if you aren't already, I know it costs five bucks to subscribe here, but it's free to subscribe on YouTube. Ain't no way. <laughs> Sorry. I say no way too much now. It's so bad. <laughs> um, weekly stream highlights on the main channel and then daily clips on the clip channel. Go subscribe to both. Do it. I don't think anybody's live. Yeah, nobody's live, Sage. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the resub. I appreciate you. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. I gotta go. I gotta eat. And get ready to go. do 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 Okay, the final minute, y'all. Any last words? Be safe. I will. I always am. Man, I can't wait for this game to get sad.